Good morning, it's Sunday and it can mean only one thing, it's mega walk time and I've got a massive walk today. But before I walk, well, I'm going on a boat. I'm heading over to Fuerteventura today. I thought I'd do something a little bit different. For those of you that wanted to get your travel on stickers and meet Mr. Travel on, um, I'm sorry, <laughs> I need to get over there. I'll tell you why um, as we walk over, but there's two boats there, the Linnaeus Romero and the Fred Olsen Mini. I'm going to tell you which one is the best. Well, I'm going to go on the best. So come on, come to Fuerteventura with me. We're going to go over there. It's going to take 25 minutes to get over. And then we're going to walk all of Coraleco. I've got some massive walking to do today. Come on, let's go. Right. So on today's live mega walk, well, I'll tell you what, it was a monster. So we hit Fuerteventura. Now there's a method behind my madness here. There was a pair of trainers in Fund Grube that were 20 euros off, but they only had them in Coraleco. Well, I was told they can get them over in a few days, or I thought, why not kill two birds with one stone? Let's head over on the Linnaeus Romero Ferry. Let me do the live mega walk in Coraleco and walk all the way up to the Campanario shopping center to see my my friends at Fun Grube and pick up some new trainers. You know I am the tightest man on the internet so to save 20 euros today I've literally walked for about four and a half hours but it was worth it because the guys in Fun Grube were absolutely fantastic so come with me to buy a brand new pair of trainers and save myself a little bit of money. When you see the price of these you're gonna be shocked. Now there was actually a market on at the Campanario shopping centre and I went all the way up to the top of the tower as well to get some good views but the market was fantastic. We're going to go and speak to some market traders, see what they're selling and also we did meet a few people who got my face on their case. Of course Mrs Travelon showed up in the end down on Coraleco High Street and I found a massive shop that sells genuine fakes and they were quite good ones as well. So come on, let's go and I'll kill myself. Right, right. Let me just grab this camera without breaking anything and then we'll get you lot all sorted out. Come on. So look at that view. We've got a bit of a Kalima in the sky today. Bloody sand again, look, coming over. And it's a little, well, it's not, it's not windy, but it could be a, it could be a rocky crossing. We'll see. Uh, not many of you on this morning, but it is bank holiday weekend. And that was another reason I thought I'll do something different today. So what we're going to do, you see them two ferries there? We're going to take the Linnaeus Romero one. Fred Olsen, greedy, greedy people, greedy people. Here in Lanzarote, we have the two big ferries, which are for cars, Armas and Fred Olsen. They're in competition with each other. Linnaeus Romero is a Canarian company based in, well, started in Graciosa. They're a real true Canarian company. They've always done the little boat that goes over, really beautiful ferry, brand new. And Fred Olsen, with their greed, have bought a little ferry a little ferry just to compete. I mean, this is the problem with Lanzarote. Everybody copies each other. Everybody copies each other. So I'm going to take you over on the best boat, which is the Linnaeus Romero. It's the one that we have on our website, www.travelon.world. Um, get on there. You can book the ferry over and they even offer a bus pickup. So if you're stopping in Costa de Guise, or Porta del Carmen, and you need to get down to Playa Blanca, there's set days where they'll come and pick you up on the bus, bring you down here, you'll get on the ferry, and you head over to Fuerteventura. And that is what we're doing today. We're going over to another island. So uh, stay with us, get yourself a cup of tea, get yourself relaxed, chill out. I know it's bank holiday weekend. Um, so come on, and I'll be able to answer some questions on the ferry as well, because I'll have a little bit more time, and we'll show you. There's a reason we don't look like uh, uh, Fred Olsen either and that's because they left Mrs Travelon and Alfie stranded when Alfie had tonsillitis in Fuerteventura. Uh, we were booked on the ferry to go back on a Sunday. Uh, Mrs Travelon just went to the kit ticket office said look I've got my ticket can we go on this one today? No. Like as if there wasn't any space as if it was like a plane. No you have to buy a new ticket. So they couldn't even change her just like I mean it, it, there was absolutely no reason why they couldn't go on there. Um, the ferry has always got seats. So we're going to go and see the greedy ones over there, the yellow one. And we're going to take you on the best ferry. Uh, I always tell you how it is. I always tell you how it is. Fred Olsen are not a Canarian company, which is not a problem. I'm not a Canarian person and I've got a company here, but people need to stay in their lanes, don't they? It's, a, it's been a couple of weeks where people have stepped out of their lanes. Someone, someone once said to me, 
people don't stay in their lanes in Canary Islands. And then they come out of their lane and go into other people's lanes. It's very strange. But anyway, we won't, we won't digress too much on that. Um, but this is the reason that I need to up the game on my channel and do more outside of Lanzarote because every day somebody else is starting vlogs and I hate that word vlogs on Lanzarote information on Lanzarote giving the wrong information <sighs> full of copycats but I don't care I don't care uh, just watch your Tato video yes I was just about to say yesterday I did a video about Tato crisps um, we did a Tato crisp sandwich um, so get over to my YouTube channel. Oh, by the way, we hit the 25,000 that we wanted. Yes, hello, bloody hell. It's a bit early to be saying hello to people, isn't it? I'm heading over to Fuerteventura today. I didn't think I'd see anyone. I didn't think I'd see anybody. How are you? Are we good? Yeah, we've, we've been following you for the past like four to five months. No. Yeah. Who we got? Tell me your names. So we've got Lindsay, Noah. Noah? Faith. And Faith. Fantastic. Where are you from? Uh, Leicester. Leicester. Bloody. Have you come yeah. all the way down here just to say yeah. hello to me? You knew I was getting the ferry? Yeah. How did you know I was getting? Oh, I put on there, didn't I? You put it on your I did, ferry. didn't I? I said I'm getting the yeah. ferry, didn't I? Bloody hell. We just literally stayed over there in Airport of Chico Bungalows. Oh, so. you're in the little bungalows? Yeah. They're yeah. quite nice, so them, aren't they? Really Brilliant. Nice. And you're having a good holiday? Are you having a good holiday? Yeah. Yeah, what have you been up to? Uh, so, like, last week we went, like, to the water park over there. Wow. Oh, any good? Aqualava. It's not got the big slides though, has it? No. But it's got a few little ones and it's got a lazy river and it's got a wave pool. And what about you? You having a good time? Yeah. Yeah, you enjoying the, are you enjoying the sun? Yeah. yeah. Well, fantastic. Well, I'm going to go and get my ticket for the ferry, but you know what you get, look? Yeah, you. Yes, you get my face on your case and you're going to be on YouTube a little bit later on today. So give everyone a wave. Okay, nice to meet, nice to meet you. you. Thank you so much for coming and saying hello. You're going to be famous later. <laughs> See you later. Have a lovely day. Bye. She loves. Hey, mira, yo, yo voy, yo voy hoy con tú. Sí, 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 yo voy de kiosco primero. Tu tarde, no. <laughs> There's one of the Linnaeus Romero stuff there. Uh, so they're heading over. So I don't know whether I need to get my ticket. So some things have changed. The little ferries, which is the ones that I'm getting today, they used to be here, okay, uh, which was quite handy. Now they're all the way over there. So it's going to be a bit of a walk to get over there, I think. And I'm trying to think which, which way it is. Oh no, it's not that far actually, it's not that far. And there's a little sign here. So if you're on the car ferry, look, you get the car ferry here. So that's Fred Olsen and Armas. Uh, they're the two competitors for the car ferry. Which one's better? Well, in, a, in my opinion, Fred Olsen has got the newer of the ferries, a little bit more modern. Armas is a little bit more rough and ready, a little bit slower, but loads of fun. It's more of a fun boat. So, well, you lot are on holiday, aren't you? So it's nice to have the fun boats. But if you don't need to take a car over, we're going on the uh, Linnaeus Romero. That's by far the best one, the foot passenger ferry. And like I said, you can get, um, you can get tickets on our website, www.travelon.world. Something's beeping, saying, come on, Mr. Travelon, you're on the bloody ferry. So look at this place. This place they built for the cruise ships. And not one cruise ship has ever come into Playa Blanca because they built everything wrong and the water's too shallow. But look at the bloody size of this. For a 25-minute crossing over to, over to Fuerteventura, it's absolutely ridiculous. Ah, oh, Phil's on. Phil, thank God Phil's on. Phil is a legend here. So I'm going to get my ticket off Phil. Um, I bet the office haven't even sorted it out, but we'll sort it with Phil. He's there, look, on a Sunday morning. So what else we got down here? Let's have a look. We've got a C car, which is the car hire company. Great car hire company, these are. And if you go into Tenerife, Fuerteventura, Gran Canaria, they're, uh, they're the best car hire company on, on the islands for sure. Are you in Playa Blanca? Yes, I am. I'm heading over to Fuerteventura. There you go, Mrs. Travelon moaned at Phil yesterday about a car. So this is Armas, look, this is the Armas ferry. So this is one of the big ones that takes the car over. Buenos dia, WN. So this is one of the best ones. Nice people, nice friendly people. And at the end, look, you've got the uh, Fred Olsen. Um, what time is it? Phil's taking his time here. So I'm going to show you the prices here. 34 for adults, 
17 for kids 3 to 12 and that's the August offer so that is uh, cheap as well it's cheaper than this one and um, this one I don't even have the prices on look but this one does have some more times that they go over so anyway let's get morning Tigerific how are you how much is it for a motorhome on a ferry? I have no idea. Probably a little bit more than a car, Tigerific, I would have thought. Um, I might get a motorhome one day. I don't think so. Do you know what? I was thinking of getting a motorhome because it's, it, it's looking like it's quite cheap. Um, but I think by the time you work it out, if you're stopping in like proper places where you're allowed to park the motorhome, um, it actually works out more than um, actually ho like getting hotels and stuff. So I'm just going to see if I need anything here because I messaged last night and said I need a ticket. Obviously, Mr. Travelon doesn't pay for the ticket. He gets it on the old freebie. But I don't think they open till nine. So let's have a look. I haven't got a message from them, but Phil will sort it out. Can you buy tickets on the day or do we need to book them in advance around December? Well, Harry, considering Mr. Travelon is up on a Sunday morning walking the bloody streets, and considering that I've got a website that sells the ferry and considering I do get a small commission on that website for people that book the ferry. Um, yes, you can come direct, but I'll tell you what would be nice if you booked it on our website, www.travelon.world. And I'll tell you what, I'll even give you a discount code, TTK, and you'll get a little bit off, okay? How's about that? How's about you do Mr. Travelon a favour and go and book on our website? I get a lot of people asking that. Um, you know, I do a full video on Rancho Texas and they say, oh, can we just pay on the gate? Well, yeah, you can do, but it would be really nice considering I'm giving you all this information to book with me, wouldn't it? Um, you know, it'd be, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like walking into Next and, and, and saying, oh, I like that shirt. Um, can you tell me all about it? And the shop assistant tells you and then you say, do you know what? I'm going to nip down the road and get it there instead. Same price, but there you go. Hola. Hola. Right, so we're in, the, we're in the line here. We're just waiting. Uh, thank you very much, Neil. www.travelon.world. Use the discount code TTK. And, I, and again, I'd like to thank you all for following my YouTube channel as well. We got to 25K. Super happy with that. And it was brilliant. Good morning, Phil. Good morning, mate. I'm heading over. I WhatsApp the office, but they're not open yet. Do I need anything or can I just go? Uh, you need a morning, can I have one, please? Can you have one? Yeah. Free one. Yeah. I'm waiting for the office to get back to me. Look, they said... I messaged him yesterday, he said, yeah, we'll send it in the morning, but they haven't sent it as yet. What's your number? Phone number? No. Oh, X? No, let, me t let me write it down, because I'm on, I'm on live here, and I <laughs> somebody might arrest me, Phil. <laughs> and put your bank account on there as well. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, look, they said they'll get back to me this morning, but um, I don't think they're, well, it's only nine minutes past nine, isn't it? So Phil's gonna look after me. Phil's a legend, look, here he is, look. Sunday morning, working hard. He gets the bad shift on a Sunday morning. I'm coming back on the 1.30, I think. So let me show you. Oh, brilliant. So these are the times, what, 9.30, 11.15, 12.30, 4.30 and 8. 18.30 from Playa Blanca and in Coraleco 10.30, 11.50 and 1.30. I'm actually going to get the 1.30 back um, and I'll tell you why while we walk over to the ferry. There's a reason I'm going over to Fuerteventura today as well. It's not just to show you lot the ferry. Um, is anything to do good in Coraleco? Well, stay tuned. We're going to go and walk the whole of Coraleco, literally from the harbour all the way to the top. It's going to be a monster walk. Um, if my legs take me there, they will take me there. If they don't, well, well, we shall see. You can also look. Good. Thanks, Phil. Is that it? Yeah. You're a legend. See you later. Come and see Phil. Look, he's the, he's the man. Look at that. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> he's a ledge, Phil. Really like Phil. Nice guy. English, English bloke as well. Um, and does a great job. Been in that, been there, been with Linus Romero for years. I used to work for Linus Romero. I actually worked for them for eight years as what's called a commercial, which is like sales. So I was used to sell the boats and stuff. So great company. Morning, Masha. How are you? 
Uh, so many good places to eat in Coraleco. Yes, there are. So let me show you the boarding ticket. Look, that's our boarding ticket. So when you book on our website, all you need to do is go and get the boarding ticket from Phil and uh, he'll sort you out. And then you have to walk over here. So it's not too far. And damn, the little mini Fred Olsen has gone. I was gonna show you that. What a nightmare. <laughs> what a nightmare. So the little yellow boat has gone. I was gonna show it yet, but it looks like it goes a little bit earlier than the Linnaeus Romero, unless it's parked behind. I don't know, maybe we'll see it when we get off in Coraleco. How often do the boats run? Well, if you go on our website, www.travelon.world, there's a full, um, a full, what's the word, timetable, and you'll be able to see, Jesus, I can feel the wind. This might be a rough crossing. <laughs> Perfect masher, no problem at all. Uh, is there any parking? How much does it cost? Yes, look, 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 look. Over there, loads of parking. That's where I've parked. Do you know how much it costs? Sweet FA. I don't know for how long, um, but parking's free. Um, usually very busy, but parking is free. Um, if ever you have to pay for parking in the Canary Islands, it's dirt cheap. Tenerife, I found, was not expensive compared to the UK and Ireland, but it was a lot more expensive than Lanzarote, but it's dirt cheap. I mean, at the airport, you pull up at the airport to pick somebody up and park there for an hour, cost you about 60 cents. Um, so it's nothing like the UK. Is Popo, Popeye's bar here? Is Popeye's bar here in Cust or Custard again? Is Popeye's bar's over there, look, can you see? Just in the distance, right on the corner, you can see Popeye's. Good morning, how are you? <laughs> I'm not filming you, I'm just filming Popeye's over there. You're heading over to Fuerteventura? No, we have a uh, uh, small boat, I rented. You're renting a small boat? Yeah. Fantastic, where are you from? From the Netherlands. From the, yeah. from the Netherlands. Say hello to everybody in, well, England and Ireland mostly on TikTok. You're live on TikTok. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> the Netherlands, look, they rented a small boat. Um, so yeah, there's Popeyes. How much is the crossing? Well, it's around 34 euros. Um, and then with bus pickup, I think the bus pickup's like an extra three or four euros um, if you're in Costa de Guise and Porta del Carmen. Um, so it's really good value for money, to be honest. And there's a different way to get over to Fuerteventura. You can go over to Fuerteventura and do a full tour if you want. Uh, we sell that on our website as well, where again, you'll be picked up, taken over on one of the ferries, and you'll do a little tour of Fuerteventura, like a guided tour. Or if you just want to do your own thing, then this is the best way to do it, look. The Linnaeus Romero. Uh, will a bus come and collect you from Costa de Guise to the port? Yes. www.travelon.world ferry with bus. That one's called ferry with bus. What is it? Well, it's a ferry with bus. Oh, look, they put a little kiosk there as well now but I don't think you can get your tickets from that little kiosk. But there's quite a few people here, look, getting the old ferry over. Might be a little bit of a busy one. Looks hazy. Well, Debs, let me tell you why it's hazy. It's called a Kalima. And I'll tell you what, we've had loads of them this year, more than usual. The weather is very strange, but we keep saying that. And most people moan at me and say, so conspiracy theorist and I've got my Tim Four hat on and blah, 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 blah. But you can see the sun is being beaming out and it looks hazy. It's actually sand that's blown over from the Sahara Desert. In fact, the lad the other day that I was doing a little video, he said uh, it's the camels in Morocco. They're having a camel race in Morocco and uh, it's caused the big sandstorms and that's blown over or that the Moroccans over in Morocco are shaking their carpets, <laughs> banging their carpets. So there's a couple of, a couple of different uh, little nice stories that I've learnt this week, which I quite liked. Uh, what excursions are wheelchair friendly? Um, says, not many, if you need a bus. Um, here in Lanzarote, the buses are not, well, when I say wheelchair friendly, they're not, if you can put the wheelchair under the bus, and the person can actually get on the bus, it's okay. But there's no buses that will do the thing where the ramp comes out and goes on. You need like a specialist uh, minivan or private tour for that. So as long as there's not a bus involved, most are wheelchair friendly. Um, Rancho Texas, for example, if you can get up there, it's wheelchair friendly. Everything's ramped and stuff. 
Boat-wise, well, you have to get over these little ramps here on wheelchairs, uh, whether it be catamarans, ferries, boats, there's usually a little ramp. Now, if you can disembark the uh, wheelchair and get on to the ferry or the boat or whatever, um, and then get the wheelchair and you, you've got plenty of room on the boat itself to go around. Toilets are a little bit difficult on the catamaran. On this boat, they're not. Um, but I hope that helps. There isn't, there isn't too many that sort of are wheelchair friendly, but all the attractions are wheelchair friendly. It's just getting there that can be a little bit of a problem. Right, let's have a look. How long is the ferry ride to Fuerteventura? This is gonna probably take us about 30 minutes. 30, 35 minutes, maybe. Maybe a little bit more, depends on the... Uh... Hola, buena dia, tell me. Depends on the, uh, on the weather. Do you need a passport? Yes, you do. Yes, you do, Jennifer. You do need a passport to go over to Fuerteventura, but you don't need a passport to go over to Graciosa. Maybe I'll do a live from Graciosa soon as well. Maybe we'll do that. Um, but honestly, this is definitely the best one to get. Don't go yellow unless it's a submarine and there's a yellow submarine here. That is, uh, that is the only time you need to go yellow. Hello from the UK. Hello, good morning. Uh, what's it called? Um, on our website, this is called Ferry to Fuerteventura or Ferry with Bus or there's an excursion called uh, Fuerteventura Island Tour. Um, there's a whole section on our website, it's www.travelon.world, select Lanzarote, then in the menu option, you'll see the, pass, pass, you'll see the Lanzarote to Fuerteventura section, that has all the options of uh, going to Fuerteventura. We can see it's a busy one, lots of Spanish on today, lots of Spanish on. This guy's going to sort us out. Hola, buena dia, todo bien? Sí, tú? Ah, más o menos, gracias. Gracias, gracias. So I usually know some of the crew from old days, from old days. Mi capitán! <laughs> Hola! Capitán, todo bien? Bien, bien. I know the captain, I know David, another Dave. Look, everywhere you go, you find a Dave. This man, come here, David, quickly. Oh. This man here is an absolute legend. He's been here years. years. How many? How many years? Two, uh, Eleven years. Right? Eleven years. Eleven absolute years. ledge. Right, come on. And if the captain's on, we might get to have a look at the cockpit. <laughs> Went with Fred Olsen Express. We forgot our passports, but still got our tickets. No problem. Oh well. There you go. I don't know how you manage that because they wouldn't even let Mrs. Travel on on the ferry um, with a sick child. So. Right, look at this, it's brand new, it's brand new. It has what I call a new ferry smell. <laughs> this is a proper comfortable one. This is the comfortablest ferry in Lanzarote. Look at it. Look at them big leather seats. You've got a bar on board as well, look. Coffee, tea, all your soft drinks and refreshments. It's 34 euros return for tourists and residents get a little bit of a discount. Capitan, tu, cap tu capitan hoy? Siempre, ahora. Siempre. Yo quieres ver, ver lo de... Vale. There you go. Look at the toilets as well. Somebody asked about disabled um, access. As long as you can get on the ferry lot, you've got a disabled access toilet here. So the toilets are, are, are really big. Um, plenty of space to move a wheelchair around as well. The only issue is with disabilities, because it was a very good question, is that you have to get you have to get up this ramp. So that's with all boats. Like I said, catamarans, everything, you have to get up here. So let me take you upstairs. And we'll have a look upstairs as well, look, because up the top, look, you can sit outside. And there's another bit through there. Look. So we'll go this way. We'll go this way and get the back. Sorry. So here we go, look. Beautiful views of Playa Blanca over here, look. Gorgeous Playa Blanca views there. I'm in a wheelchair. Well, as long as you can get the wheelchair on here, you're rocking and rolling. You're rocking and rolling. Um, it just, that's the problem with disabilities, excursions and stuff like that. There you go. Any excursions from Puerto Magan? No, that's Gran Canaria. <laughs> are there also ferries for campers? Yeah, the big ferries, which are over there, they're not here at the moment. We'll probably pass them on the way over. 
they will do cars and uh, camper vans. So there's Fred Olsen and there's Armas. But just check with your car hire insurance as to whether or not you're allowed to take the car over. Because if something happens over there and you're not allowed to take the car over, well, they're not going to come and get you. Hello from Ireland. All my Irish followers, head over to my YouTube channel. Yesterday, we ate um, Tato crisp sandwiches, cheese and onion, as requested. And we sampled Southern Ireland and Northern Ireland Tato crisps. So that's on my YouTube channel. Head over there and uh, please make sure to subscribe. I always say this, I've got 1.2 thousand people watching. I've got 100 and something th thousand people on TikTok and only 25,000 on YouTube. So I need you to head over to my YouTube channel. If you can do one good thing for today, it's that. Go over to my YouTube and, and, uh, and click on that. Everything you see today on the live is being recorded for YouTube and will be posted later as well. So you can catch up on that. Um, is the same price for kids, half price for kids. So if it was 34 euros, kids would be 15, 16, 17 euros. So always half price for kids. Hola. <laughs> Some little kids looking at me here, wondering what the, what's this weird man doing with the camera. <laughs> uh, are you in Lanzarote? I'm there right now. Yes, I am, but I'm in Playa Blanca and I'm heading over that way to Fuerteventura. We'll be there in 30 days. That's fantastic, brilliant. That is great. How long do you stay in Lanzarote for at once? I live here, Chloe. I live literally just up the road. So I've been here 20 odd years. So yeah, please head over to my YouTube channel. Please follow that. I want to get to 100,000 before Christmas. Well, on Christmas. I don't think I'm ever going to do it, but I need to diverse. I need to diverse. Now August is over. I think kids are back at school now. Can somebody tell me, are Ireland and um, Scotland kids back at school now? Um, and I know the UK kids, when are they back at school? Because that means everything's going to get a little less busy for me and I'm going to be able to maybe get out, do some more videos, go different places because I need to I need to do more than just Lanzarote. I cannot just focus on Lanzarote um, as Mr. Travel on. Now, if I was Mr. Lanzarote on, it'd be different, wouldn't it? But I'm Mr. Travel on, so I better go and do some traveling. Uh, Mrs. Travel on is, uh, well, she says I've got to go and get, go and do some traveling. So I am. And Jack's at, Jack's sort of finishing his summer job and he's probably going to continue um, but I'm, he's going to have a little holiday and I think me and Jack are going to go off and do some adventuring. Uh, England go back 4th of September, that's great, okay. Um, I don't know when they go back here. What about um, Scotland and Ireland? Arriving in Costa de Guise, four weeks only. First week of September in England, yeah. Irish schools back back Wednesday, Thursday, right, okay. So that explains why it has got a little bit quieter. It's still very busy. Boats are still full four, five, six days in, well, four days in advance. I'm, I'm exaggerating with four, five, six. Four days, three or four days in advance. Uh, so you do need to book. And again, the, the website is www.travelon.world. I'm gonna take you in this bit here, look, and show you th this bit. Uh, Scottish are back to school already, are they? Poor kids. <laughs> well, I can't actually go in there. I will later, but there's another bit in there, um, which I'll show you later. And there's also toilets up the top as well. So you've got toilets up the top and toilets down the bottom. So let's go down here. Good morning. Next week, Ireland. Fantastic. So that does explain why um, it has got a little bit quieter to them because of the, uh, the, the kids back at school. Um, Northern Ireland schools are back on Friday. Okay. Um, I'm going to watch the boat leave as I'm in the Iberia Star. Fantastic. 12 week summer holiday. Yeah, indeed, Mrs. Travelon. Our kids have a 12 week summer holiday. Do you know what? They've probably learned, well, Jack certainly has learned more in the last 12 weeks than he ever will at school. Um, schools are teaching kids absolute nonsense these days, and they're still teaching the same curriculum that they taught us. I mean, when have you ever had the add X plus Y equals Z to the power of three? Absolutely never. Um, it would be nice if they could just like explain how tax works and how you know how you do tax returns and you know how you actually live. <laughs> but they don't want to do that. They don't want to do that because what they want to do is catch you out. You see, they don't want to teach you the important stuff. They want to catch you out on things like that so they can fine you. You know, um, school's absolute nonsense. And Jack, Jack's been working at Rancho Texas all summer, and he has a choice of going back to sixth form, and he's been playing on his mind. 
Um, everyone's going, you need to go back. You will never get anywhere in life if you're not going to have a sixth form education. And I always say to people, if you know what you want to do, if you want to be a vet, a doctor, a policeman, a fireman, um, you know, anything like that, a lawyer, well then, yeah, you have to go to university and study. But if you don't actually know what you want to do, well, what's the point? What's the point in him wasting two years of his life going and studying science and uh, literature, which is what he would do? What an absolute waste of time. He, I would, I, he would rather, and I said I agree with him, and he can do what he wants, um, is to go and get some life experience. Because in, in the last few weeks working at Rancho Texas, he's learned how to deal with people, um, how to work, even how to mop a floor. You know what I mean? Silly things like that. He's like, oh, I know how to mop a floor now. Well, you didn't learn that at school, did you? But you know how to do X plus Y to the power of 10. <sighs> Absolute nonsense. Um, looking forward to seeing him on the 13th. He should be there, yeah. Um, schools should do driving tests and trade. Exactly. Schools are absolute nonsense. It's all part of just teaching people how to be slaves, in my opinion. Hello. Another thing I said about school, and I will get off the school topic because we are on the, uh, on the old travelling topic at the moment. But another thing about school is kids are nasty little shits, aren't they? Let's face it. We've all been at school. Kids are nasty little shits. They say what they want and they can get away with it. Um, you know, and... If you've got a load of kids that are, that, that are horrible and saying horrible things, not that Jack's ever had a problem with that, but kids are kids, aren't they? Well, they can do it at school, and the school does absolutely piss all about it. But they don't do it at work, do they? Even if, 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 if you work in an environment, you hate somebody in the office, you might say to your co-worker, I can't stand John, he's such a dick. <laughs> but you're not allowed to go up to John and say, John, you're a dickhead. You can't, can you? Because if you do, you get in trouble. And that's the difference. That is a difference. It's working in an environment that is not horrible. And that's all school is, a horrible environment. Sit down, stand up, study this, learn this, absolute nonsense. Go for your lunch when we tell you to go for your lunch and be a slave to the system. But we are off. Rant of the day, over. <laughs> Rant of the day over about schools. <laughs> Will you be walking near Santa Rosa? Not today. Uh, did you see yourself ever moving to, back to England? Absolutely not. England is a failed society. I miss Playa Blanca so much. <laughs> Great shout, Dan. Danny, how long will it take? It's going to take about 25, 30 minutes to get over. Here we go. Look, locking up. Locking up, look. There's the big rope. Let's have a little, we'll have a little watch of this, look, it's quite interesting. That's pulling the anchor up, I think. No, it's not, it's uh, just getting the ropes that were tied to the little boy over there, look. Back-breaking work. There you go. He's off. <laughs> He's off. How much money do you need, how much money do you need to make a move over there? Well, if you're from UK, unfortunately, with Brexit, you can't really. Um, if you're from Ireland or the EU, then you're rocking and rolling. Um, he's got two languages, much better than algebra, exactly. Just booked Ireland tour, great discount, fantastic. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, look for flying fish, yeah, you can always see a few flying fish over here. This lady's getting a little photo, but it is nice, look. So we're heading out, though it's gonna get noisy up here. I think I'll go upstairs and show you the view from upstairs as we head out, because that's more exciting up here, isn't it? It's more exciting. There's David, look right on the top of the boat. <laughs> he's up there, we'll have a chat to him later when he's not too busy. Brilliant guy, David, really nice guy. Speaks perfect English. And like I said, he's worked here for 11 years. So long. I worked here for quite a while. I wasn't on the boat, so now and again I was. Coming to Fort Ventura on the 8th of September, brilliant. Uh, I've been to Lanzarote every year of my life and I love it. I want to live there. Get over here, Chloe. Like I said, it's difficult if you're from England because of Brexit, but there's the guys from uh, Holland that rented a boat, look. So they rented the boat. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> They're the ones that rented the boat, look. Nice little thing to do, rent a boat. We do, we, we've got a couple of private catamarans on our website, but no little boats like that. I must uh, I must find out how much they are and stuff. Nice little thing to do. 
Husband had Irish passport, so we're good to come. There you go, Debs, get in there. Here we go, look, beautiful views, leaving Lanzarote to head over to Fuerteventura. There's the Armas coming in, look, that's the other big ferry that comes over. I might have to take these off because they blow off my head. I'm just gonna put these in my uh, pocket, I think. How long is the boat ride? It's gonna take us about 25 minutes to get over there, and then I'm gonna walk literally the whole of Coraleco. And uh, I'll tell you why. Shall I tell you why? I'll tell you why in a bit. <laughs> so you can see Los Lobos there, a tiny little uninhabited island. There's the, Fred, uh, the, the Armas coming in. There's the big harbour that they built. So all of that was built not so long ago, along with the white building. So all that's pretty much brand new. And that was meant to be for cruise ships, uh, but we've never ever had a cruise ship come here. How much is a ferry over? It's 34 euros. Um, is it an easy return? It can be a little bit more choppy on the way back. So there you go. You can see the Armas ferry there. That's the big car ferry. And then behind the Armas one is the Fred Olsen. So you can see how many ferries there are. I mean, we don't actually need four ferries over to Fuerteventura. I mean, it's 25 minute crossing. It's hardly a big one, is it? Um, obviously the car ferries, probably need a couple of them, um, which is fine. But like I said at the beginning of the video, Fred Olsen um, have bought out a little mini one to compete with this one. There's just no real need for it. It's just it's a bit petty is the word, petty, because, well, you can see there's plenty of seats left on this one. It's hardly like it's sold out. Um, how long do you stay in Fort Aventura before the ferry brings you back? It's up to you. If you do the ferry rebus, it, it is a little bit choppy. <laughs> if you do the ferry rebus, then um, you'll get on this one at the 9.30. So you'll arrive about 10 um, and then you'll get the five something back. So you get a good full day. If you just do the ferry and you come down here yourself um, and just come on this ferry, you go, go and come back whenever you want. Um, if you take the car over, well, again, you go and you come back whenever you want, so you book what you want. You can actually book the car ferry on our website as well, um, if you go on there. You get, just look at ferries, but that will take you to another website which does car ferries. And it costs 34 euros and half price for kids to come over on this one. And the website to book is www.travelon.world. There you go, look, rocking and rolling. I'm gonna see if David will let us get into the big cabin in a minute. I don't know how we're gonna get in there. Usually you can sit inside there. There's some views of Playa Blanca, look. So why am I heading over to Fuerteventura? Well, one is to show you this uh, ferry. Um, there's the, old, the other Fred Olsen, look, the car one, just there. So one is to show you that, the other one is to get some trainers, believe it or not. <laughs> I'm heading over because, well, I ordered, there was a, there's a sale on at Fungruba, you know, the one with the yellow elephant. And I bought some three euro trainers off TikTok shop. I thought I was being clever. They're not for walking. They're, they're okay to wear now and again uh, for half an hour, but they ain't for walking. And my walking sketches are getting a bit crap. And, Bungrube had a real good sale on 41 euros for some um, trekking sketches, but they didn't have them in Playa Blanca um, and they had them in Tenerife and they were meant to get them over. Long story short, I went there yesterday, I said, where's my trainers? And they went, oh, we didn't get them over in the end, but they've got them in Fuerteventura. I said, I'll tell you what, I'll do my live in Fuerteventura tomorrow and I'll go and pick up them trainers. What a tight gear. I'm traveling all the way over to Fort Aventura to get some 40 euro sketches because I thought it was a good deal. One of my clients is swimming at Fort Aventura and back in his training. Well, there you go, Mrs. Travel On. Don't get me, I'm not swimming anywhere. I'll get on the bloody ferry, no thanks. You can see Montaña Roca over there. That's the big mountain. You can actually climb up there and the views are incredible. And then over there, look, you've got the lighthouse. There's lots of fun over here. Lots of fun coming over to Fuerteventura. 
So yeah, don't forget to follow this channel. I can see a few people have just started to follow. Please follow this channel, it costs you absolutely nothing. I'm not on TikTok saying, send me gifts. I'm not asking for gifts, I'm not asking for anything. All I ask you to do is subscribe to the channels, nothing else. And if you could head over to the YouTube channel as well, I'd really appreciate it if you could follow the YouTube channel as well. That would really, really, really help me because I'm trying to get to 100K before Christmas. Never gonna happen. Where in Forteventura are you traveling to? Well, from Lanzarote to Forteventura, it's always Playa Blanca to Coraleco. Over there, look. You can see just there. And there's the other mini Fred Olsen there. So that's the mini one. So that's the same as this one. Um, it goes a few, few more times a day, but it certainly isn't gonna be as new as this one, because this ferry is brand spanking new. And it looks a lot smaller as well, which means it could be a lot choppier. And there it is, look. It's a busy old path from Lanzarote to Fuerteventura, but it is cool to see. There it is. So that's gone over and come back. I can't see if there's many people on it. It's about the same as on here. But we definitely want to get this one. Right, let's go see if we can find David and let's see if I can get in the captain's den and have a look. In saying that, I don't know if I want to because it's a bit rocky today and I might have to just grab a seat because bloody hell, I'm coming down the stairs here and it's hard to walk. Whoa! <laughs> there you go, look. You can see how, bit, how it is. Morning, Ruthie, how are you? Let's add him on YouTube exactly, Dees. Cost you nothing to add me on YouTube beautiful over there right let's get in the comfy bit let's answer some questions jesus christ you can be a bit rocky hey, my hey. man I, I want to get in the captain bit do you think i can go in yes, there probably. oh yes come on look this man's gonna show us david the legend david the legend jesus oh look oh special access come on we're, we're going up look it's a bit rocky, David, today. <laughs> it's a bit choppy today. It's okay, no? Yep. Oh, muy bien. Look at this. Look, I've got an absolute treat for you today. The thing's Mr. Travel. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. It's more rocky up the front. Wow. Look at this. Look, a spaceship. Capitan. Todo bien, amigo? Wow. Look at this. So, this. This is the spaceship, look. Wow. It's like NASA. Yeah. It's like NASA, look. You have a pilot and a co-pilot seat. And what's this seat for? It's for the engines. The oh, engines? The for the engines yeah. Wow. Look at that. What do you reckon? We've got 1,100 people watching, David. Wow. 1,100 people. Welcome. Watching. Look at all these buttons. Wow. And there's captains here. It's like an aeroplane, really, isn't it? It's like a, an avion. <laughs> wow, look at that. And you've got the navigation system there. Wow. That is so cool. That is uh, a lot different to the one that I used to come on many years ago, because this is brand spanking new. And look at the view over there. It's actually just like being on a plane. Wow. Muchas gracias, Capitan. <laughs> Thanks, David. No Legend. Wow, I know I need to wobble downstairs. <laughs> that is so cool, no? Yeah. Wow. Oh, so there you go, look. Big thanks to David, look. The number one, come and see him. There's always a Dave. Everywhere you go, there's a David. <laughs> yeah, don't tell him all. Everywhere. Thank you, my man. No, Thank no, you. Man. See you in a bit, see you in a bit. Yeah. Absolute legend. So there you go, showed you the cop here. You don't get to see one of them many day, many times, do you, on a Sunday morning? But I am going to have to sit down now because otherwise I'm going to fall down. <laughs> so come on, let's have a little chat. See if you can see Lobos. I can't really see it up there. There is a Kalima today, yeah. We've said that, the sand in the sky. So you can get sort of coffees, teas, all sorts of stuff on here, look. Tell you what. It's going to be a rocky one on the way back. Hola. So you can still see Playa Blanca over there, look. 
Where are you going? I'm going to Fort Ventura. I'm going to walk all of the Coraleco Strip. How much is the price for Texas Ranch? Uh, Coming in 11 days. Have a look on the website, travelon.world. You'll see the prices. Use the code TTK and you'll get yourself a discount. It's cheaper than anywhere else. Right, come on. We're going to go back up here so we can have a look at Los Lobos. The things I do for you. The things I do for you. Absolute craziness. I can't even stand up. It's not that bad, look. So there's Lobos, look. And you can see Fuerteventura over there as well. Does that mean the flights will be delayed? No, 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 no. It's not a bad Kalima today. So a Kalima is where the sand comes in the sky, look. You can see it there. You can see the sun, but you can see it's a little bit hazy. And that's the sand from the Sahara. Bloody hell. Are you on the fast ferry? Uh, not the fast, fast ferry. The fast ferry is a car ferry. I'm on the uh, foot passenger ferry. It's a little bit slower, but it's a lot more fun look. But you can sit outside and really sort of relax and chill out. I've just seen a little crack in my screen on this phone. I do hope it's on the cover and not on the actual phone. That will really annoy me. How much is a car ferry? I don't know. Have a look on our website, www.travelon.world. Click car ferry. It'll take you through to a, con a comparison website, which will get you the best deal on car ferries. We don't tend to do the car ferries, to be honest. We focus on these ones because they're more for tourists. But would you recommend seasickness tablets? There's a seasickness tablet called Biodramina. Um, they work really well. If you do get a little bit seasick, I'd highly recommend it. Echo's lovely, yeah. Lanzarote to Fuerteventura, indeed. So there's Las Lobos, look, beautiful little place. Beautiful place. The other day I went to the airport live and it was orange, yeah. Diverted to Fuerteventura, yeah. So with this Kalima, and we've had quite a few, the other day there was one and all the planes were diverted over to Fuerteventura. In saying that, Fuerteventura, I mean, the airport's a little bit further south, so maybe it's a little less Kalima-ish down there. trying to see what other views we can get. We'll have a little look over the other side. And there's the other side, look, you can see Coraleco here. Try the Tato sandwich with milk. <laughs> Do you know what, I've ate, I feel sick today, not because of the boat, I've ate so much crap this weekend, I feel horrible. Um, I ate the crisp sandwiches yesterday, that destroyed me. We had the big burgers for the cinema. If you haven't already watched it on the YouTube channel, I did, we went to the cinema and I show you the cinema in Lanzarote. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, so I showed you that and I had massive burgers and then um, I've just had crap this weekend. So I'm glad I'm doing this massive walk today to walk it all off, but I'm proper dehydrated today. I'm off to Porto del Carmen tonight. Hope you have a great time, enjoy. So let's get out this wind and I'll come back up when, we, when we're docked. How were you after the fall? <laughs> I wasn't good. <laughs> I wasn't good at all. I wasn't good after my hot curry. So I'm going to tell you what videos you can go and watch on YouTube in a minute. Let's get in here out the noise. We'll go back to my seat, look. We'll go back to my seat. Right, we'll go back this way. Right, so I've just, uh, just turned the camera back on. So we've just arrived in Coraleco. There you go. So here we are. Let me show you Coraleco. Look, you get your first views of Coraleco over there. How long did the journey take? Um, I don't know what time is it. <laughs> I can't see the time on here. Only buying the sale. Just me, so do I. I only buy in the sale as well. What's the point in paying full price for anything? I always buy the sale, unless it's, oh, well, by the way, remember last week, I was saying that I needed a new phone. Well, I got a bargain on my phone. Well, it was very expensive. I bought the new Samsung S24 Ultra, the latest, the most expensive phone in the shop. But the only reason I did it was because my old phone, which was broken, 
uh, the SIM card wasn't working. It was a Samsung S21, um, which you knew were about 200 euros now. They gave me 350 quid for my old phone. I mean, it still cost me a fortune, but I do need the phone for work. I do need it for videos. And it's a bloody good phone, Samsung S24 Ultra. Gracias, Capitan. Una media, no? Sí. Una media. Gracias. And we're going to come see the captain. I love my 24. It's Jackie Carter, look. You must be loaded, Jackie, because it nearly broke my heart paying that much money for that phone. S24 Ultra, really good though. It's got a little pen and everything. I'll show it you. I'll show it you, look. Look at that. Oh, I've even got one of them screen protectors on, look. Look at that, very good phone. Uh, tax back, well, yeah, I can put it through as a business tax because I'm self-employed, so I can put it through. However, tax here in Spain is very difficult. Um, they could say no to that. They just make things up in Spain. Adios, adios, adios. Gracias, gracias. A la zona media, no? I'll be there. Adios, amigo. There you go. Oh, gracias, amigo. Look, you get sweets as well. Look, I don't, I don't want a sweet. No, no, oh, gracias. Más tarde. Buy from Samsung Direct. I got 300 back. Yes, exactly. That's what I did. But it was, wasn't Samsung Direct. It was actually in the shop. Um, Media Mart. And they said, because it's Samsung, we will give you 350 back. So there you go. There you go. 150 cash. So I've got 350 cash back here. So there's people now, look, going from Fuerteventura to Lanzarote. A lot of people. Sunday's quite a busy one because it's weekend. So a lot of people will come over to Fuerteventura for the weekend, a lot of locals, and they'll head back. Uh, you watching Vincent? What's Vincent? You mean Vince PH? Yeah, he's in Porto del Carmen. He does some good videos. He's all right, Vince. He's all right. He cracks on with what he's doing. Doesn't bother anybody else. <laughs> Fun Gruber, yes. So, welcome to Coraleco. This is where you hit when you arrive. Hopefully the skies will be blue and not cloudy. Well, they're not cloudy, are they? They're bloody sand. I don't know why I've just said that. How much is a trip? 34 for adults, 17 for kids, and use the code TTK, and you'll get a little bit of a discount off that. And it's www.travelon.world to book. And you can get ferry on its own, if you want to make your own way down to Playa Blanca or you're in Playa Blanca. You can book ferry with a bus pickup if you're in Porto del Carmen or Costa de Guise, and the bus will pick you up, bring you down here, go over on the ferry. Or you can book an island tour, where again, the bus will pick you up, take you over on one of the ferries, don't know which one, depends which island tour you book, and then we'll take you on a tour of the island. See you later, Chloe, see you soon. Right, so, oh, I can show you the mini Fred Olsen there. I knew, I knew it would be in one of them. Uh, have you fallen out with a Night Strider lad? No, not at all. Why? Uh, they have gone sorted it. Would you recommend the island tour? I always say I'll do it and never do it. In How much is it to take a car? I'm not sure. It's quite expensive. It's around 70 odd euros. It's not cheap, look. But you can see some higher cars here, look. So this is where you get the, you, the, the, uh, the armas will go in there. Booked on one of your excursions for tomorrow. Thank you very much, Douglas. Can you move your head up on the screen a little bit? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, you mean, oh, oh, if I touch that, it's gonna disappear. I know what you mean though, uh, hang on. Try that. Hello from Tipton, hello Tipton, how are you? Uh, we just booked the buggy tour, fantastic. Hope you enjoy that soldier boy. So this is the mini Fred Olsen, remember I told you? So these have come over and are trying to compete with Linus Romero. Uh, Linus Romero is a Canarian company, I support them 100%. These guys, Fred Olsen, um, they're a good company, um, but like I said, they upset Mrs. Travelon when they wouldn't let her change the ferry day for no reason at all when Alfie had tonsillitis when he was over here. And they've just bought this one, but you can see plastic chairs, none of your leather chairs in there. You can sit upstairs. 
um, but a lot less comfortable than the one that we've just been on. Still a nice little boat, um, but it's a little bit more expensive as well. I think it's only by a euro. I think it's like a euro more. So it's not a lot, but you know, Mr. Travel on, if you can save one euro, but there you go, look. It's certainly not as plush as the one we've been on, has it? It's like a Lego, <laughs> like a Lego boat. There's the ferry over to, uh, to Lobos, look. And these guys here are all waiting for the car ferry, look. So the Fred Olsen car ferry will come in there. Now, one thing with the car ferry as well, and why I recommend just getting on the foot passenger ferry, unless you really want to drive around Fort Aventura, is you're going to get a load of these uh, big yeah. Arctic lorries and trucks on there. Uh, now, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that truck drivers are, uh, are loud, <laughs> but they're bloody loud. <laughs> and you do get that. You get a lot of workmen on there um, because that's them doing their daily thing. You know, they're taking stuff over. But when you're on holiday, you don't really want that sort of a, a environment, do you? Um, but if you've got a car and you want to go over, look, this is what you do. You pull up here. There are some camper vans on there as well. I know Tigger, if it was asking about them, I do... I do sometimes think, should I buy a camper van? Don't know. And this is the Obi transfer. So these, uh, we, work, we work exclusively with Obicat over here. And again, if you want to book for excursions in Fuerteventura, www.travelon.world, and you can get over to Lanzarote, do a Lanzarote tour, see the volcanoes. And uh, we do work with this company here, Obicat. And they've got catamarans, they've got everything. So that's on our website as well. We don't just do Lanzarote um, excursions. We do Lanzarote, Tenerife, Fuerteventura. We do everything, look. And they're all in red, them guys, look. So that's a popular thing. That's it, one of the Obicat uh, boats as well, look. So you've got catamaran cruises. That looks like a small little catamaran. Beautiful. And lots of little catamarans over here. Rather than in Lanzarote, you've got like the big catamarans. Here, there's just a lot more smaller ones. Most of them, if not all of them, will go over to low bus because low bus is the thing to do, for sure. But it's nice over here, look. It really is. Lots of water sports and surfing in Coraleco. There is indeed. My auntie and cousins are flying out to Lanzarote today. Fantastic, I hope they have a great time. I hope they have a great time. What's a low bus? <laughs> a low bus phase, the little island over there, tiny little island, lost low bus is called. A low bus is actually a, I think it's a sea lion in Spanish, or wolves. They called it the island of wolves. Lobos is wolf. So they used to eat sea lions basically, but they used to call them sea wolves and that's Los Lobos Island. So here we are, look, this is the harbour. So we're gonna head in to Coraleco. Got some really nice things here, look. Little fish, <laughs> little fish, look. And a lovely restaurant here. Now this place here does real good tapas. Real sort of traditional tapas. The real McCoy. I should say. Not cheap, um, recently been done up. Recently been done up, but a lovely place. Food there's really nice. And I love the artwork as well, look. Whole thing's painted. Great. And then overlooking the harbour. So really nice views down here. I'll tell you what, it's bloody roasting now. It's definitely above 29%, uh, 29 degrees. Uh, not, not as many English and Irish in Fuerteventura than there will be in Lanzarote as well. Lots of Italians. Um, Fuerteventura is very popular for Italians. Uh, lots of Spanish and loads of Germans down the south. Down the south of Fuerteventura, loads of Germans. Uh, very popular for the Germans down there. Um, but still quite a few Brits, Irish, all, all, all types of different nationalities here. But it's a very peaceful place. Um, dare I say it, and I've said it before, it's sort of like a bit of a hippie place for Taventura, I find. Very sort of laid back, you know, hippie sort of, hippie sort of style. 
if you're chill, you got your dreads, <laughs> that sort of thing. You're fitting quite nicely in Fort Aventura. Um, lots of like spiritualist people. Uh, can you fish off the pier? Officially not, but I don't think anybody would stop you if I'm honest with you. Uh, see you in October, still not sure. Go to lands at H10 or back to Sandos. It's a big decision. H it's a nice decision to have, isn't it? H10 or Sandos Papagayo, both lovely hotels. So that's the uh, nautical school look. So that is the school of, of the sea. So if you want to be a sailor or do anything regarding the sea, that's where you get your qualifications from. Officially not. <laughs> I like that. I like that, Patrick. See, I learned some quite cool jokes and sayings off you lot as well. Uh, like food, corn. Last year there was loads of Polish in Fort Ventura, yeah, probably. Probably. So we're gonna we're gonna walk through the old the old town. The old town of Fuerteventura. I'm gonna take you coastal way through here and we're gonna walk all the way to the Campanario shopping centre. Don't know how long the batteries are gonna last, but we shall try. Um who knows if the batteries do go, I might get back on the old uh, S24 Ultra and re-log in. <laughs> and re-log in. So this will take you along the front. Uh, usually nice views, but it looks like they're doing a bit of work here. <laughs> looks like they're doing this place up, look, the terrace, putting all wood down. Bit of a strange time to do it, isn't it? In the bloody middle of August, well, I suppose the end of August. Maybe it's going a bit quiet, but look, they're totally ripping that place out. But that was a lovely restaurant, that. Voila. So I don't know why they're, uh, why they wouldn't wait until September for that. I don't know, maybe it has quietened down. Maybe now is the time. Like you said before, kids are back at school. Uh, there's another little uh, um, empty locale here. Front row as well. There's one or two reasons why that's empty. One, the rents are stupid and nobody wants to take it on. Or there's not enough business. I wouldn't think it would be the latter because it's busy. But these, these restaurants are lovely. Look, right out on the front at night time, this just, it comes al alive. And this is like the old town, very sort of seafood, stuff like that. You can walk all the way along the coastline there. I am going to go this way. Lovely little back streets as well. Look, you can just hop and walk through the back streets. You see what I mean when I say sort of hippie vibe? Very sort of laid back surfer, surfer dude vibe, if that makes sense. Um, seafood right up my street. Yes, indeed, Entman. Yes, indeed. Lots of tapas. Look, this is a lovely little, little square there. Is it normally that cloudy? It's not cloudy. It's sand in the sky. We've got a Kalima. So this little square here, loads of traditional bars and restaurants, look, bistros, tapas bars. Again, on the night time, this is all lit up. I've done a full video on the night time as well. So if you go over to my YouTube channel and just put in Coraleco, you'll be able to see a full tour of Coraleco at night time. I've walked these streets all the way, all the way. Uh, can you still tan with the Kalima? 100%. You can burn like a bloody crisp. Jack came back from the water park yesterday. He went to the water park with his mates and he come back red. <laughs> red as a beetroot. Jeez. He was, he was bright red. I love Music Square. Yeah, where is Music Square from here? No point in me going and have a look now, but there is like a big Music Square and they have a stage. I remember seeing it and I did a video on YouTube. Is this Music Square? Let's just go up here. Is it? Is this Music Square? I can never find it. Yes, so this is Music Square, look. So you can see they've got a big stage there. And uh, on the night time, this is proper alive. It's buzzing. Uh, they have all the music here and then all the bars and restaurants um, there. And this is basically Music Square. Now I did a video here, but copyright for YouTube, they won't let it. I can always do a live on TikTok. Lo siento. Esto es Music Square, no? No, see, esta music, music Square, see? Happy people. 
I think that was Music Square anyway. I just asked her, she screamed at me. <laughs> she just screamed at me. That's a problem when you do. <laughs> There's two problems with living in Spain. One, you should always try and speak the lingo. Um, but then sometimes you'll speak the lingo and they know that you're not Spanish, so they'll reply to you in English. That, that's one thing that they do. Or the other thing is you speak Spanish and then they just scream at you really fast and you're like, what? Because I can speak what I need to say, but sometimes I can't understand it. Right, you ready for this? Look at this for a view. Look at this for a beach. This is the town beach. One. I mean, this is the crap beach of Fuerteventura. Imagine what the good beaches are like if this is the crap one. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. And you've got a beautiful place here. Look, this hotel looks like a ship. It looks like a cruise ship, look. You could be mistaken. If I just film that bit, I could say, look, I'm on a cruise in Fuerteventura and you wouldn't know the difference. And these restaurants are again, are alive at nighttime. Very popular here. Hola, buenos dias, how are They're doing like uh, breakfast there, look. Beautiful little terrace to sit on. Very chilled. None of your sort of full English. None of your full English here. There is places to do full English, look. Lovely uh, statues and artwork as well. And there's the view, look. You can actually see Lanzarote from over there. Hair braider covering her face because she doesn't want to be seen. Prime location again for the hair braiders. No matter where you are in the world, it seems to me, if you're doing things dodgy and not paying your tax, you get left alone. If you're paying your tax and you're doing things properly, well, they come looking for more, don't they? It really, really does annoy me that you've got these people that are sat on prime location, braiding hair, selling dodgy handbags, this, that and the other, and the police do diddly squat, they do nothing. When we had a shop in Porta del Carmen, if we put a sign up, the local police would be there and said, you can't put that sign up, you have to pay a tax, you have to pay a fine, you have to pay this. But yet, these people will be out in the streets doing whatever they want with nobody bothering them. And if I walk past with a the camera, they cover their faces. Is the world backward? Now, I know a lot of people will come on here and say, oh, leave them alone. They're only trying to make a living. We're all trying to make a living, but we all do it legally. And the problem is with this world is if you're doing it legally, they come after you for more. If you're doing it illegally and you're not doing, you're not doing things by the book, they leave you alone and they give you more. The world's gone mad. Rant number two for today. What is going on? What is going on? It really, really annoys me. I'm very sorry if you guys get offended by that. Um, but it really does annoy you when you're trying to do, when you're trying to do things properly, pay your tax, you know, contribute to everything properly, um, but you get nothing in return. But then others are allowed to do what they want. Now this, <laughs> look at this, look at this look. So you got some sand sculptures on the beach. That is beautiful, look at that. You've made your point, now move on. Okay, user 344656, see you later. There's my point. Coraleco. Look at that, beautiful sign there. So they've got these signs up in Fuerteventura where you can come and get a little selfie. And I've often wondered why they haven't done them in, in Lanzarote, but I suppose when you think Lanzarote, Puerto del Carmen, it's quite a big word, isn't it? But they could have one for Playa Blanca. I suppose it'd be longer, wouldn't it? <laughs> so you've got Coraleco, Sand Dunes. Uh, thank you very much, Save With Lisa. That's a problem with social media. You can't have an opinion, can you? Freedom of speech is gone as well. There you go, we won't get into that. As, that, as the person I just blocked, let's move on. <laughs> he's moved on, don't know where he's gone, but he ain't coming back here. Billy, I'm in Coraleco. Oh, what time is it, guys? Uh, roll on next April, we'll be back. Keep up the good work, thank you very much. My phone has just, we might be, we might be swapping phones. We might be swapping phones, let's see. So this is Coraleco High Street, this is where it all starts, look. 
and we're gonna head there. I'm just gonna plug battery one in to the camera for YouTube so that we've got enough juice to get on with there. Let's have a little look. There you go. So we're cooking on gas. We're charging that 1022 already. Oof. That's why the batteries are, I might be swapping phones, guys. I might be. It'd be a pity if I lost 1.2 thousand. But unfortunately, I can't charge it from here. And I haven't got the cable to charge the iPhone either. So we might have to go back. I might have to whap out the new Samsung S24. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. So this is Coraleco High Street, look. You've got Vreback. I've done a video in there ages ago. When we came over, God, it's got to be a year ago, I did a little TikTok of that place. They do amazing ice cream in there. And Coraleco seems to be all about ice cream and, and steak, if I remember rightly. Loads of places doing ice cream and steak, not together. <laughs> but you could either get loads of ice cream or loads of steak. Look, you've got El Toro Bravo there, massive steakhouse. There's loads of steakhouses in here. Have you got your new sketches on, Dave? No, Susie, I'm going to buy them. I've come all the way over to Fuerteventura to get them. I'm killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> oh, look, top hats here, look. If you want a hat. <laughs> you want a nice hat, look. You've got top hats. Little places here. It's a very nice high street. It's recently been done up as well. Um, like I said, very chilled, very laid back. A little bit shabby in some places, but they are doing it up. And on the night time, like I said, this place comes alive on the night time. Life on the night time is beautiful. If you need to use banks, always go to the proper banks. Save yourself a pretty penny, you will. Um, rather than the like dodgy ATM machines. There is a Wally, oh shit, I nearly fell over then. There is a Wally train down here as well. I'm gonna show you in a minute. I might get on the Wally train because I've got a bit of time here. I want to get me trainers. <laughs> so look, this place, very, very busy, look. Loads of people in here. Big old place, look, sitting right out in the street. Coffee, cake, croissants. Again, a lot of a different vibe than Puerto del Carmen, don't you think? When I do the, when I do the Puerto del Carmen videos, it's always people having a full English, isn't it, in the mornings. Here, very cosmopolitan. Didn't see one sausage on them plates. Croissants, continental breakfast, coffee, look. A little coffee place over there. No full English. Mmm, there you go. Can you get full English in Coraleco? Because I can't see one. Ali Hop, yeah, Mrs. Travelon is outside her favourite shop. As always, I'll show you her in a minute. She's over here, I don't know what she's doing here. <laughs> Got a little Hippodino supermarket open there and there is a brand new buffet Chinese restaurant. Love a good buffet. Love a good buffet. <laughs> He's not happy. He's not happy. <laughs> All right, come on. No square sausage. No, I'm still yet to try square sausage, but look at this place, eh? Look at the views down there. You can see the sea down there. And there's Ali Hoff. There's Mrs. Travel on look. Pride and place with a hat on, bless her. She's always around. She's always around somewhere, isn't she? Good afternoon, Mrs. Travel on. How are you? Overlooking Coraleco, look. <laughs> She's out, she can't hear me. But Ali Hoff, look, this is uh, one of the most famous Brands in Spain, look, does all your gadgets and gizmos. Beautiful shot, I've showed you many a time, look. Fully air conditioned, all gorgeous, look. It's all bollocks. It really is, it's just all crap. But it's displayed nicely and I like it, look. But it is all just gadgets, gizmos. It's holiday stuff, isn't it? It's stuff you go and have a little look at and buy. I love it. Um, visited Lanzarote on Saturday, what's the temperature? The moment about 29 degrees. That place there, Gambito, is amazing. It's like a big arcade um, for kids. A great place, all lit up, and you get the tickets and you can... Hello, mate, you all right? Yeah, I follow you on you really? Look, yeah. I've come over to Fuerteventura. I didn't think I'd see anybody in Fuerteventura. Yeah. I saw one person in Playa Blanca. How's Fuerteventura? It's really good. It's been good weather. Yeah, good where are you stopping here? Um, 
lengthy pack of Senna Thorne. Nice. So it's really good, really good. Is there much to do here or is it quite chilled? It's nice and chilled in the mornings and in the busy, it's really busy in the evenings. In the evenings. And have you been to Lanzarote before? Do you always yeah, come? Yeah, yeah, we've been to Lanzarote. So what do you prefer, Fuerteventura or Lanzarote? Oh, what do you think, Fred? I don't know. No? Both the same? Yeah, really good, yeah. But there's, a, there's one water park here, isn't there? That's yeah, about it. Yeah. That's uh, that. That's up there. That closes for the winter. And then have you been down to that animal park down at the south yet? No. Oh, Oasis Park. Much just stayed around yeah. There, yeah. Brilliant. Well, what are your names? Where are you from? Um, we're that's Gareth and Freddie from Wales. From Wales. I love it. I love. I love the Welsh. Lovely to meet you. Well, look. Oh, I didn't you. think I'd ever see anybody in Fort Ventura, but thank you very much. You got my face on your case now. There we go. I'll see you later. Thank You'll be on YouTube later. All right. Bye. Check it out. See you soon. <laughs> there you go. We saw somebody in Fort Ventura. Um, there's some tat shops further up. Yes, I'm waiting for the tat shops. Right, so this is the Wally train. Look, I might jump on this later with the old Air Samsung S24 if I've got time because I'm not back until 1.30, am I? Maybe it'll take me back to the harbour. Let's have a look. What time does it go? From 10 till, so 10.40. So 10.40, 11.40, every 40 minutes. Buena dia, amigo. Todo bien? Maybe I'm going to go on here. Quantas tiempo? 40 minutos in total. 25 minutes. Oh, solo 25 minutos. Pasa de muere. Primero o último de muere. Mm. Medio, medio. Medio. 25 minutos. And it's a uh, 10, 40, 11, 40. No? A qué hora? 25 minutes round, 15 minutes to take more people. Plus 25 is that is why we say every 40 minutes. Ah, so, pri minute round. so primero, primero a la 10 y de segundo? 10, 40. Y de segundo, 11, 20. Perfecto. Yo pasa más tarde. Gracias. Oh, hello, how are you? I'm, I'm just talking to the Wallyman train. How are you? Uh, do you know what? I didn't think I'd see anybody in Fuerteventura. What are you doing over here? I've been over for a couple of weeks. Yeah, you enjoying it? Hello, mate. What's your name? Hello, Leo. What's your name, Dad? Darren. Leon. And where are you from? I'm from Sunderland. From Sunderland. What's it like in Fuerteventura? Beautiful, yes. Yeah? yeah Have you yeah, been to Lanzarote yeah. before? I used to live there. Did you? Yeah, close to Keys. Oh, what do you prefer then, Lanzarote yeah. or Fuerteventura? This is more like Lanzarote 30 years ago. Yeah, a bit more chilled. Yeah. It's a lot chilled here, isn't it? Yeah, I yeah. say it's a little bit sort of hippie type. Is, uh, but you haven't got any dreadlocks. I used to, when I was there, I did. <laughs> did you? Really? Did, Are you know. one of these surfer dudes then? I used to be. Really? Oh, there you go. That's what you like, Fort Ventura then? Surfing and diving, I was in there. Fantastic. So, and that's what it's all about here, isn't it? Yeah, sort of yeah, more. Good time in life. No, oh, fantastic. Brilliant. Well, look, say hello to everyone. You're on yeah. live. You're on live to TikTok and you've been recorded for YouTube now. Yeah, I'm going to give you a couple of stickers. Oh, excellent. My face on your case. I'll see you later. Lovely to meet you. Have a good yeah, day. Bye. See you later, mate. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs> there you go. Look, we've seen a couple of people here, haven't we? I might definitely have to be changing the phone in a bit. It's a good job I bought that new phone. Where are you? I'm in Fuerteventura, Coraleco. Um, so if you are watching and I do turn off, I will be back within a minute on the old new Samsung S24 phone, okay? We'll see how that plays out. It's a bit big for this gimbal though, so I don't know if it'll work, but we'll give it a go. So talking about tat shops, well down here, look, you've got some um, Irish bars down here. Um, let's go and have a little look. So down, as well as, as the main strip, look, you've got down here, they've got different Irish bars, and I think there's a hotel down here, or that might be the next one. You've got like little back streets where you can just sort of turn off. So uh, down in this area, you've got Waikiki's as well, which is like a beach bar. So we'll go down and we'll have a look. Somebody's just put Waikiki's there, look. McCarthy's is really good. Yeah, it's a very popular Irish bar there. Uh, where are you now? I'm in Fuerteventura. Ventura. I'm in Coraleco. I'm a little wander around. I'm in a little wander around. I'm heading to the El Campanario shopping centre. I've got to be back on the 1.30. I'm going to go all the way to the El Campanario shopping centre, get some trainers and then head back. There's McCarthy's look. Proper Irish bar, this. <laughs> Live music every night. Irish post box. Bet they sell Tato's as well. Bet they sell Tato crisps. We are currently staying in TFP. What's TFP? Yeah, look and see if I can see in there, look. Give you a little look inside. Lovely place. 
Or is that, oh no, that's not, that's a restaurant. <laughs> I was gonna say, it doesn't look like an Irish bar, does it? It's a restaurant. Maison La Teja. Sounds posh, too posh for Mr. Travel on. And then down here, you've got a very famous beach bar called Waikiki's. This is like, um, very popular for the party people, as well as the chill out people in the afternoon. Um, did you go to the sand dunes? No, I've done a video in the sand dunes before, um, but I'm not going sand dunes today. I'm literally going up to El Campanario, which will be a bit of a trek. And I better get rid of them really, because I'm back on the 130. Right, here you go, there's Waikiki's. So this is like a beach, beach bar. Really nice on the evenings and in the daytime to come down here. All decked out, look. And look at this. Look at this, look. Sand beach. Oh, let's get down here. I hate the bloody sand, but look at this. You've got a lovely beach bar here. You've got Waikiki's on this side here, look. And then look at this beautiful beautiful views you can see a little lost lobos island there and over there look you've got the beautiful beach absolutely stunning what a gorgeous place absolutely stunning look i would walk that way but i can't stand the sand and i think i'm heading right to the end there el campanario do you know what i don't even know how long this walk is going to be to there uh, came in May, booked a couple of your excursions, which were great, fantastic. Uh, recommend anyone to use your company. Thank you very much. Do appreciate it. I do appreciate it. <laughs> Walk's not too long. Oh, that's good, because <laughs> I'm absolutely knackered. And I've got to get that ferry back. Right, come on, let's get back up to the main street of Coraleco and we'll just keep heading straight. It isn't that far. Uh, coming back over in December for the fifth time. Hope to see you. Well, I'm always about on a Sunday somewhere. I would say in Lanzarote, but not today, eh? Although we have seen three, three people today. There's so somebody in the Playa Blanca Harbour. And if anybody's watching, they're in Playa Blanca. Well, I'm on the 130 ferry. Do the maths of when I'm gonna get off that ferry. I won't be filming, but if you wanna say hello, I'll be getting off that ferry. I expect a big, uh, big crowd of people now with big banners saying, Mr. Travel On, we love you. <laughs> we like Taylor Swift. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm getting into Taylor Swift, as sad as he sounds. And now I'm a man's man. I'm a man's man. And uh, I've been watching Taylor Swift's concerts. They look awesome. But what, I was annoyed, what annoys me about these Taylor Swift concerts is the Swifties that are filming themselves singing. I don't mind watching them filming Taylor Swift. I mean, put your phone down, you're at a concert for F sake. But it's the ones that are filming them, like filming them singing. And I'll just say, oh, for God's sake, get a life, get a life. But I'm quite enjoying the videos of Taylor Swift on stage. I thought it was really, I thought, I think she's really good. I'm, I'm going to be a Swifty. <laughs> I'm going to be a Swifty. I ain't. I don't like her political views. She should keep them to herself. So should all actors, pop stars, film stars, and television presenters. Keep your political views to yourself. No one's interested. Do your job, which is singing and acting. That's what we need. Bit of singing and acting. Leave the politics to the politicians. We'll all make our own minds up of what we believe in and what we don't. One of the, hello. So here, look, again, more little cafes. Nice little linen shop here, Blanco Nil. Sells everything white as one of them in Playa Blanca. Shoes and things like that. Leather bags. Hola, buena dia, Tobian. Oh, look at this, genuine fake bags. <laughs> I will, in a, I will. Look at the Christian Dior. Wow, wow, look at this. Hola, amigo, Tobian. This is good quality. TikTok, TikTok. See, see, see. This is like Turkey. Turkey yeah. Wow. In live. In live. In live, yeah. Uh, Say hello. Hello, Sahara Libre. Sahara Libre, look. They do everything here, look. I quite like that. Do you have the Chloe bags? Chloe, yes. Come on, let's have a look at the Chloe bag. Mrs. I'm not going to buy one now, but 
Missy's Travel On wants one. No problem, my friend. Look, hey. original. Original. Gen <laughs> genuine fake. That's yeah, not a bad not, quality, actually. No, no, Same no, quality. This one is better than original. One. It's better yeah. than the ones in the market. Yeah. In the market, they are a bit yeah, crap. That's not bad, though. They have a big size. This is well. Look at this. We're in. Bit of Prada, look. Look at that. There you go. Well, look, Everything. anybody that wants some genuine, genuine bags, look, what's your name? Jamal. Come and see Jamal, look, he's going to oh, sort well, you out with course. some genuines. Thank you very much, my friend. And, and genuine. How, how many people look for you? How many? We have 1,200. What? 1, what? Look, Western Sahara, Western Sahara, we from Western Sahara, live, li live, live, live. Oh. And Western Sahara, Western Sahara. Libre, Western Sahara people. There you Libre. go, look, look, he's got all that. Fantastic. Yes, yes, yes. Brilliant. Well, the Kalima is a, I, I think we have Kalima today, no? No, no, no. no but no, somebody no. said the Kalima is the camels are racing in the Sahara. No, <laughs> this no, is what they told no, me. No, the camels are racing no, in the no, Sahara. No, 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 no. The Kalima, the camels. I know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tenerife. Yeah. And there you go. Here. Genuine, genuine look, genuine. Get in there. Yeah, good luck, boss. We'll good come luck. and see you soon. You. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> oh, they're cool. Look, proper genuine fakes in there. I don't know how they're getting away with that. I saw in the news that they were, um, they were doing people at the market for selling genuine fakes. So I don't know how they've got a full shop. Fair play to them though. They're, they're not selling in the street, like I said before. They're, um, you know what I mean? They're paying the rent. They're working. You know, there's no way they're not contributing to uh, to the taxes and stuff like that because they've they've got what's essentially a business, so they have to. So there you go. This street here, I call Little Britain. <laughs> Money laundry. <laughs> Don't put a damper on things. <laughs> Don't put a damper on things. H10 Ocean Dunas here. Look. So you got the H10. Um, I know Scotsman in Tenerife, who's a great little YouTuber, he has stopped in here, uh, H10 Ocean Junior. So let's just have a little look in here, smell. Let me open the door and sniff, because the H10 have got some amazing smells. And Nicola sent me a, a website where you can buy hotel smells, diffusers. Oh, smells beautiful. It's the best smell. So look at that, it smells gorgeous. So this is a H10 look. I love the design, it's all black and white. Look at that, beautiful. And through there, you've got the pool as well. Absolutely gorgeous. It's adults only in here as well. Beautiful place. I love a bit of H10. And then here, you've got sports bar and you've got talk of the town here as well. So this is another one of them little uh, sort of off, off the front or off the Coraleco High Street in there. And these are proper British bars. Um, in fact, last time I came here, I think you get fish and chips in the talk of the town. And I went and had fish and chips. Well, when I say last time, this was a few years ago. I went and had fish and chips in talk of the town. It was actually quite nice. And they had uh, Only Fools and Horses on the telly. Proper holiday feel. For me, anyway. From back in the day. That's how it was, wasn't it, back in the day? No, they don't. I don't see that. But back, back in the day, you used to go on holiday. You'd find a British bar. Only Fools and Horses would be on repeat. And you just go in there and watch like really old episodes of Only Fools and Horses. Now it's Netflix, isn't it? Now it's Netflix push, pushing their woke agenda while you're trying to eat your bloody full English. Um, can't beat that. That was good old days, that was. And that's why that's, that's why that, you know what I mean? They have no food, food in talk of the town anymore. Don't know, me. Well, there you go. Classic days. Look, Tory remembers. That was your holiday, wasn't it? That was your holiday. Bit of only fools. Dinosaur. <laughs> I am a dinosaur. Mr. Fish and Chips. It was nice fish and chips there, I remember. Right, so you got some hair. Uh... Hola. <laughs> you got some places over there. Look, Dahlia Perfumery. And then you got a big shopping centre up here. We're going to have a little look in there. And then another off, off, the, uh, off the street look. And this way will lead me to the Campanario shopping centre if I walk down there, but I'm gonna go another way. Well, I'm gonna take you up. But you've got Jaipur Indian restaurant there. It's a very old established Indian restaurant in Fuerteventura. 
got the Barcelo Hotel up there, which looks lovely. I've stopped there, I think. Have I? I haven't done a video there. I stopped there before I was doing videos. And then this is the big, massive shopping centre. You can get some proper bargains here. Let's show you. It's got Natura, which is quite a popular place. Um, you've got a massive pharmacy here. Open on a Sunday, which is good. And there's an urgency button there as well. Again, another Hippodino. Plenty of these big supermarkets open in Fuerteventura. Hippodino Express. Great stuff. 3 95 meal deal in there. Great. Great price. And you've got Fifth Avenue here, look. This does like designer label stuff. There's some big sales on in here as well. Look, you've got all your shoes. Uh, but they do all designer stuff in here, look. Lots of sales on at the moment, but you've got your Tommy Hill figure. You've got all sorts in there. Hugo Boss, all genuine. None of your genuine fakes in that shop. They're all genuine stuff. 50% off this one as well, look. Oh, wow. I hope I don't find uh, my trainers cheap. Yeah, somebody said 50% off, off Skechers, look. There's a 50% sale on Skechers at Walk. There you go, look. That is dirt cheap. 49 euros, that's more like it. Don't mind spending 40, 50 euros on a pair of sketches. There you go, look, 50% off in there. You get some real bargains in there if you want shoes. They're part of Fungrube, uh, they're called Walk, so they're the shoe shop of Fungrube. Just show you over there, that's the only fast food restaurant here, Burger King. Uh, there's no McDonald's, no, K oh, there is a KFC. There is a KFC actually, it's at the petrol station at the top of here. So there is a KFC now, that's new. Um, but you've got Burger King there, and then the only other like, fast food is in there, Coletta de Fuste, which is a McDonald's. So it's definitely not that type of place. Uh, oh, these are shut. I think they probably open maybe 11 on a Sunday. So Skechers is closed and Guess is closed. But again, big sales on. So if you're in Fort Ventura Coraleco, well, you can get yourself some bargains. Definitely. I think the shopping in Fort Ventura is a lot, uh, a lot better than Lanzarote, or it's just the fact that I'm in a different place, so I quite enjoy doing the shopping here. Whereas if you're in Lanzarote, you just tend to be wandering around following Mrs. Travel on, you know what I mean? Uh, not how I thought Coletta de Fusti was pronounced. I'm sure it's pronounced Coletta de Fusti. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. I had some knobhead on, um, on one of my videos. I said, uh, me and Jack, and somebody replied saying, it's actually Jack and I. It's actually, I couldn't give a shit. If I want to say me and Jack, I'll say me and Jack. These people that have got time on their hands to correct your spelling. Well, I wish I, I, wish I had their lives. I'm actually quite jealous of you. I'm actually quite jealous of your, I'm, I'm actually like, I wish I had the time to correct people's spelling. Rant four, are we on four rants already? People drive me mad. It's actually Jack and I. Jack and I. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that. <laughs> I'm a typo queen. Well, Kel, get busy. Do something else with your time. <laughs> Do something else with your time, Cal. Let's have a look. I love the ones that say I pronounce things wrong as well. I don't care. I pronounce it how I want to say it. I really don't care. So you can do the buggies here as well. These are a cool thing to do. Dune buggies, look. You can go all the way over on the dune buggies. Hola. So that's a cool thing to do. And we sell that on our website. So www.travelland.world. You can book the dune buggies. You can book the tours over to... Um, See you later, Neil. <laughs> I'm sorting that ticket out for you, sorry. Uh, you can do the June buggies, you can do the, the day over to Fuerteventura, you can do all sorts, of, day over to Lanzarote to see the volcanoes, you can do all sorts. Um, you've got Retro Cafe up here, so there's some other stuff up here, and there's a lovely little hotel up here called Los or Lobos. I think it's called Lobos Bahia, I think. Let's be careful crossing the road. 
And then here, look, you've got a massive tat shop. Look at the size of this one. All sorts of stuff in here. You can even get yourself a willy-shaped soap. <laughs> you can get yourself a bar of soap in the shape of a willy. Happy days. <laughs> Happy holiday. Jesus Christ, look at him. Going a bit fast, isn't he? I know it's a cycle lane, but come on. Calm your beans, chill your beans a bit. Going really fast. Imagine he hit somebody who was wandering into the cycle lane. Whose fault would it be? Him for going too fast or somebody for wandering into the cycle lane? Because I, I sometimes wander in, I have to be guilty of it. Um, but I look at it as revenge for when I'm driving down the motorway and the cyclists having a little chat with each other. I call it revenge. <laughs> I call it revenge. Standing in the cycle lane, look. Da, 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 da. <laughs> now that's not a rant, Tori. That's not a rant. You have to be in the car with me for a cycling rant, I'm afraid. I saw my mate Lee heading out on his bike today, this morning, he gave me a wave. I'll give him the finger back. <laughs> I'm only joking, I love cyclists really. Right, the water park is there. Come on, we're going to, what time is it? I don't know where I am. We've got the water park there and then Campanario Shopping Centre is down there. Oh. We're going to have a little nose at the water park because I can uh, see it over the fence. And then I am heading there. I can see the Campanario Shopping Centre. 10.48, bloody hell. Whew. I'm out of breath. I'm definitely going to be back on the other phone if this cuts out, by the way. So stay with me. And uh, we'll do a little live. Well, maybe, I think. Where are you? I'm in Coraleco, Fuerteventura. I'm just at the water park now and this only opens in the summer now we don't sell this on our website um or well, do we no we don't um not because it's crap or anything but i just don't think they sell i don't think they have sellers maybe they do maybe i haven't bothered to i did come and meet them but i can't remember what the outcome was but the good thing about this is there's a little bit of waste ground here and there's a fence you can just climb over. <laughs> I'm not encouraging people to climb over the fence, by the way. But you could early morning and go and hide. <laughs> I'm joking. But look, there is the water park of Coraleco, Fuerteventura. It's actually really cool. Um, not too busy at all, look. Lots of sunbeds. It goes all the way over there. There's different areas down there, but this area here is the main bit, look, with all the slides. And Mrs. Travelon came tumbling down one of them slides last time we went. Um, it was quite comical. I've still got that video. I thought she was going to come out. <laughs> she came flying off. Watch out for the chipmunks. Yes, there are chipmunks, but I don't think they're in Coraleco anymore. They used to be up by Charlie's Bar, which is up the road. Um, but last time we went there, they weren't there. Um, I saw them in Coletta de Fuste, and I've done a video on YouTube about that as well. So, there you go. There you go. Right, let's hop over this wall, and we're going to head down here. Da -da. The chipmunks were in Coletta de Fusti last February. Yeah, they're still in Coletta de Fusti, but they used to be in Coraleco as well. These are wild chipmunks. They're really cool. Um, and I'm surprised why nobody's caught them, brought them over to Lanzarote. Because <laughs> they are a pest. Oh, we're off. Right then, I'm back. So we're heading towards the Campanario Shopping Centre. I am back. <laughs> we're going to go and buy some trainers from Fungrube. Hello, at the Campanario Shopping Centre. We're going to pass a few hotels here in Fuerteventura. I think that one's called the Oasis Dunas. Um, we're back. Look at us. Look at you all back. Back with a vengeance, back in the room. I'm on the Samsung S24. You can't see my head on this because I can't do dual, dual camera. And it might be a little bit wobbly as well because it's quite a big phone, if I'm honest with you. Morning, Jane, how are you? If you're on, I saw you pop up there. I don't know if you're on. I would invite you for a live, but, well, I don't know how to do it is the answer to that. Uh, good morning, Carol. 
What time's brekkie? I am not eating today because I've ate crap all weekend. Yesterday, um, if you haven't already, head over to my YouTube channel. I did a Tato's crisp sandwich video and I ate loads of Tato's crisps with bread and I'm not very good with, uh, with that. So it sort of upset my stomach a bit. Uh, what is the city called? Well, the city or the little town is called Coraleco and it's in Fuerteventura. And this is the Oasis Duna Hotel here. This is only a three star, very basic accommodation really, but very popular, very nice. Uh, Nicholas back, Mark's back. <laughs> 500 of you are back, bloody hell. This is a long live, isn't it? Kept you busy today. What's the temperature? 29 degrees, look. And we're heading into the Campanario shopping center now um, to get some trainers. <laughs> so if you've just joined me, what are we doing? Well, I've traveled all the way over from Lanzarote to Fuerteventura Coraleco to save myself 20, 20 quid on a pair of Skechers trainers because the shop in Lanzarote didn't have them in stock. They were gonna order them from Tenerife. That failed. And they said yesterday, well, we've got them in Coraleco. And I thought, well, why don't I do a live? Get in the ferry over to Fuerteventura, Coraleco, and go and get some trainers. Is it a long walk? It bloody is. I'm absolutely exhausted. Living my sun -size sunshine dreams. <laughs> Morning, Katie. How are you? I'm at La Panita waiting for you. La Panita? I ain't coming to La Panita today, mate. Or is La Panita in there? Uh, in Lanzarote, no, in Coraleco, I don't know. Looks lovely, it's beautiful here. How long was the ferry? It took about 30 minutes. Well, actually it took a bit longer, didn't it? About 45 minutes. You'll sleep well tonight, I will, Heather. I will, missing Lanzarote, just left Playa Blanca last week. Well, I'm missing Lanzarote because I'm not in Playa Blanca today. There's jabs on, morning, can't wait till December. Great stuff. New people have come on because, uh, well, it's a new live, so they've, they've They've obviously told new people. I've been live since nine o'clock this morning, um, but the, the phone went, so we're on here. How much was the ferry? 34 euros, 17 for kids. Thank you, Ruth. Highs are 29 today. Um, can't wait for our holes in September. I think September's gonna be quite busy, especially for couples. Um, I think what's happening now, I've noticed, is obviously kids are back at school, so the kids have gone. Um, you're going to get two types of people out on holidays now in the Canaries, Tenerife, Grand Canary, Fuerteventura. You're going to get your couples, your more mature people, and your families that are happy to pay the fine. And you know what? Fair play to you. Fair play to you. Pay the bloody fine. Come on holiday. A mate of mine back in the UK says... He's, uh, he's coming in September. I said, are the kids not back? He said, yep, yeah, but the price was two grand difference. I'd rather pay the 165 euro fine. Absolutely well and truly, because your kids are going to learn more on holiday than they are sat in a classroom on their asses, being taught absolute nonsense, being taught things that teachers have been told to, taught, but to teach. And uh, like I said earlier in the video, learning how to calculate A plus B and the square root of C absolute nonsense so pay the fine bring your kids over on holiday and they'll have a much happier time won't they so i would never never look down on parents that do that and i know some people do um but for me uh, they've put the fines up have they put the fines up roofy they're terrible aren't they my family are all going i would rather pay the fine fair play to you fair play to you and for anybody that's like looking, looking down on, on people that do that, well, wake up, <laughs> wake up. It's 70 pound a day now, never. Shut up, Jab. 70 a day, it's probably still cheaper though, no? I work in a school and the holiday prices are ridiculous during school holidays, exactly, Shirley, exactly. So instead of the government fining people, surely they should be capping the holiday companies, no? I don't know. Is there a solution? I want to have a good time and pay the fine. Have a good time and pay the fine. I like that. I like that. So you've got a couple of places over here. You've got a really cool sports bar over there. Um, hello, you all right? Hello. <laughs> got a lovely sports bar over there, look. It's called The Sports Bar, I think. 
put my glasses on. Yeah, it's called The Sports Bar and that's a very popular place. Um, and then this is Campanario. This is the Campanario shopping centre. Someone's getting run over, look. Somebody just walked out in the middle of the road. Right, come on, let's get in the Campanario shopping centre. Um, we'll go this way. You got food corner over here. Let's go this, let's cross over without getting run over. And I'll go that way and round. So you've got food corner here and the sports bar. And uh, there's sports bar, that's really good. It's got big terries, all your sports on in there. Very popular. Little tat shop there called Happy Buy. <laughs> and then here, look, food corner, look. Choose egg noodles, chicken, prawns, duck. Sweet and sour. So you get one, two, three in a box. Take away. It's like a, I think it must be a Chinese place. Oh, it looks nice though. Look, samosas, six, six samosas for tw uh, 250. That's cheap. Food corner. That'll definitely be a place for me. Look, it's a little sort of Chinese, not a buffet, but here, yeah, full foot, the full English look. We found one. Full English breakfast at the cherry tree, but it's up for sale. <laughs> it's up for sale and it's closed on a Sunday. Does that suggest that maybe people that come to Fuerteventura Ventura are not your full English type? I don't know. It, like I said, it's a very laid back place. It's a very, uh, very uh, surfer dude, hippie hot type place. Right, so let's cross over. I can't believe we've still got 1,000 people on and, the and we're, on, we're on another phone now. We've doubled up today. Told you this would be a long live, didn't I? Be a bloody long YouTube video, I'll tell you that now. Right, come on. So this is Campanario, look, he's doing all day brunch. And it's lovely around here. It's lovely. Market on today in Campanario. Oh, you're joking, Paulette, is that? Is it a Sunday market? Oh God. Oh well. We'll have some fun around the market then, won't we? <laughs> oh it is, isn't it? Last time I came up here there was a foot there was a market on. <sighs> right, come on, let's go and have a look at the bloody market. I'm here for the fun group, eh? To get my trainers, that's all I'm here for. <sighs> Thanks, Paulette. <sighs> Alright, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Rammed, absolutely rammed. And there's Fun Groovy there, look, that's where I'm getting my trainers. So what do you want to do? Do you want to have a little walk around the uh, market first or shall I go and get my trainers? Can we have a time check, please? I suppose I can always get a taxi back to the harbour, can't I? Very busy around here, look. God, were you getting a two for one today? I'm telling you now, you are getting treated and spoiled today. This is the market, look. I need to plug in another charger for my camera. So at some point I'm gonna to have to sit down and do that. It's 11 o'clock, right, okay. So I've got two and a half hours till I need to be back. But this market here is all about handicrafts. You can only get handmade products here. That's the rules. I might have to pop in here, you know, and get my trainers. So I do apologize, but it will give me, it will give me two excuses. One, to get my trainers. Um, so you might have to watch me buy a pair of trainers. <laughs> And then I can charge the camera and then I can have a good old look around the Campanario market. So look at this, look. They got me trainers, look. Yes. I want to try them on. Si, por favor. Look at this, they got my trainers. Hola. Dami, yo paso, yo paso aquí. Perfecto, gracias. Look at this, 40 notes, 40 notes, look. Right, let me get charged up. Let, I'm going to sit my ass down here. <laughs> that was so funny. Right, hang on. Look, we are so, oh my God, there's still 1,500. 1,500 personas in TikTok. Que es tu nombre? Rosie. Rosie. Rosie is the best. She has helped me, look. But that price by two, I can't trace it. I had to get my size. I'm a size 44, nine and a half in England. And I thought this was going to be complicated, but it wasn't, look. Oh, look. Look at me, look at me trainers. Let me show you. Oh look, there's a dog in here as well. 
This is what Lanzarote is uh, Puerto Ventura is about. <laughs> <laughs> She's lovely. I I'm surprised they knew the minute I walked in here, I said, you got me trainers. Who we got? Carlos is going to sort us out, look. I can't believe we've just bought a pair of trainers. We've arrived in one pair and we're, we're traveling back in the other. Changing, it's like changing tires. I've like changed my tires. English. Francais. Mm. Oh, my bien. Carlos, okay. I don't need the box. No box. No box. Okay, Carlos is the main man. You, you knew that I was coming, no? Yeah. I thought this was, I, I thought that your sabi is muy complicado porque sí. yo, yo entiendo Lanzarote y Canarias. Ah, Pero de ayer, they said, mira, in, in Fuerteventura voy, put, uh, voy, voy a hacer seguro. Sí, sí seguro. Sí. Mm. Pero Carlos, number one. Lo de Rubicon, yeah. Mr. Travel On. <laughs> That's the name, the canal. Ah, okay. So, ahora, to in YouTube. Yes. Uh, más tarde, in, ah, okay. ahora live con mil, mil trescientos personas live. Say hello. Hello. Uh, y esto graba para YouTube. Ah, okay. Y YouTube a las seis y media, a las siete hoy. Mr. Travel Mr. Tra Mr. Tra Mr. Tra Gracias, Rosie. Adios. Gracias. Carlos will look after me. Gracias, Carlos. Right, come on. Let's get rocking and rolling. Oh. Okay, a little present. Oh, a little present. Look. Wow. Look at this. A little bit of a bit of perfume. I stink. That's what he's, he's, he's saying. You, you stink. You've just walked for miles. Give him a sticker. Good idea. Thank you. Thank you, Nicola. Jesus. This is why you're here, isn't it? Do you know what? That is a bloody good idea. Momentito. Okay, 44 99 Yo tengo un cuenta, Carlos. Es más de... Your... It's like seeing my pin number, Carlos. <laughs> Seven your ticket and... Muy bien, so Ca much. Carlos. Mira, esto para, para tú y para Rosa. Okay. Esto mis pegatinas. Ah, excelente. Okay, ahí esto del nombre del canal. Okay, thank you so Muchas much. Muchas gracias, amigo. Boom. Now I, now I walk to Lanzarote with new trainers. Yeah. Oh, like a pit stop. Yeah. Like a pit stop. Adios, adios. adios. <laughs> right, come on. Let's get out of here. I've got my new trainers on. They're all lovely. They're all lovely, the shop assistants. Well, some are shop assistants are lovely. Some aren't. <laughs> but mainly in the touristy places, they are. And if they're not, they should be. Right, come on. Right, this is a bloody big live, isn't it? I can't believe this. So we're here in now in the Campanario shopping, uh, the Campanario shopping centre for market day. So come on, let's go and have a little look. And I've got me new trainers on. Look, I feel like a new person. I feel like I've been in a rally, and I've just changed my tyres. And it's like having new tyres on your feet. I got muted on main for telling people to tap. Why? I've no Hello. idea. Hola. So this is all handmade products, look, here. It, it stretches the whole of the Campanario shopping centre. It's on a Sunday and another day. I don't know what the other day is. Uh, go to the tower, Dave. Where's the tower? Is that the tower up there? Can I go all the way up there? Oh, good idea, Suzanne. Let's go there. Lots of places here, look, to eat and drink and get yourself something. Beautiful. I know it's Sunday today. Morning, my hero. So look, this is a beautiful little courtyard here. Is the perfume cheap in Fungru Bay? It's probably cheaper than the airport. How do I get up to the to the tower? Is there stairs? There's a lift. Oh, lo siento. Mira, lo siento. Para arriba. O caminando o no? Mucho. Oh my gosh. Right, I can go up the stairs <laughs> or the lift. I think we'll go up the stairs. Come on. In my new trainers, we're going to test them out properly. Let's test them out properly. Look, we are not scared. Come on. Yes. Oh, these trainers are so comfortable. Sketchers, trekkers, they're called. Now, this is one level, but not the level we want. We want to get higher, look. We want to go all the way up there. So come on. Them views are not good enough for Mr. Travel on. 
let's go further. Para arriba, para arriba. <laughs> I think we might get the lift back. <laughs> I might get the lift back. Come on, it's easier going down. I'm putting these trainers. Jesus Christ, I shouldn't have took the stairs. Sorry. Right, here's one view. All the way over Fort Aventura, but there's, there's more to go. There's people coming down here, look. Come on. Whose idea was this? Was her name Suzanne? Oh, you're not my favorite person today, Suzanne. Jesus Christ, I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> have we made it? Yes, we made it, we're at the top. <sighs> we're at the top of the bell tower. Look, there's the bells. And look at the views. I'll take you on a 360 look. So you can see over there, Fort Aventura sand dunes over there. And with the rucksack indeed. Thanks Amanda. <laughs> There's some building work and stuff going over there, look. And then this side, look, you can see all the way over to Los Lobos. Stunning look. Workout for the day, Jim. I've been walking since nine o'clock. Absolutely worn out. So you can see all the way over there. You can see the Hotel Rio over there, right in the sand dunes. And then this side looks like the better view. This side's the best view, look at this. Look at this for a view. The low bus there, look. And then all the way over Coraleco. And we've walked from the harbour there, look. It feels like we've walked a lot further than that. In fact, we've got the ferry all the way over from there, look from Lanzarote, then we arrived in the harbour and then we walked all the way to here just for a pair of trainers, <laughs> just to save 20 quid. <laughs> what a loser, <laughs> what a loser. Look, I'm killing two birds with one stone. It's been a long time since I've been over to here with you on a live and this is a major live, isn't it? So let's get the stairs down, easier on the way down, especially with my new trainers on. My new Skechers Trekkers are actually sticking to the floor a little bit because they're quite grippy. My others were not grippy at all. These are for like trekking, like if you're going up the mountains and things. Come on, we're nearly down. Are you going to the sand dunes? Not today. I'm gonna head back towards Coraleco now. I may as well keep you on live, eh? I may as well keep you on live. Do you wanna come back to the harbour with me? Or shall I get, well, we'll have a little look around the market. Um, I may as well take you back with me, I not I? I was gonna do a video of Coraleco and just like record it rather than do live, but come on. We'll have a little look around the market. What time is it, please? Can we have a little market, uh, a little time check? I was going to jump on the Wally train as well. If I've got time, I will. Got all little handmade products here, little handmade jewellery. Let's say hello to 11.20. Oh, we've got plenty of time then, haven't we? We've got two hours. <laughs> Not that I'm going to be live for two hours. Got all your aloe vera products here. He's doing like some names, look, in paint. Really delicate work, that is, look. All with little, uh, little sketching things sharpening his pencils by the looks of it and there's a band setting up bit of a band setting up there and there's some more stuff here look local artists that's beautiful look look at that turtle and then you've got like a little bird of prey there and the and the foot of ventura chipmunks look I told you we'd find the chipmunks today we found the chipmunks you do this say hello look you're on, you're on live to tiktok to 1,000 people. 
Wow. What you, you so much. What's your name? Gaia. 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 Gaia look. Gaia, oh, look at this. Look. There you go, Gaia. Fantastic. Where well, you're gonna be? You're on YouTube here and live on TikTok here. Wow. This is beautiful. You did the chipmunks. I like the chipmunks. Good. And what are you doing now? Which one? What are you painting now? Um, just a. Just a Wow, fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Guy. Have a lovely day. What, what day is the market? Sunday and? Sunday and Thursday. Perfect. Come and see Guy a look. Get a lovely hand-painted picture from Fuerteventura. Sorry. Thank you. Bye. All sorts of stuff here, look. All sorts of stuff. You've got all your volcanic rock jewellery as well. This is all made from the volcanic rock. And some more art, look some shells that have been painted look so that's nice but again all very sort of handy made um where does Fort Aventura rank on your list of canary islands i'd say third place my list of favorite canary islands believe it or not goes tenerife lanzarote Fort Aventura, gran canaria and i know that sounds sound, it sounds weird because i live in lanzarote but i like tenerife because i go on holiday there <laughs> Look at this lovely little uh, cafe area, all covered and sheltered. And then we'll walk down this way and then we'll head down, back down to the whole other one. Got a little handmade jewellery here, look. That's beautiful, look at the detail on that. Absolutely gorgeous. You made this? Wow, look at this. Oh look, she's making it there, look. Burning it and melting it. Wow. Thank you. Fuerteventura, look, is famous for goats. <laughs> There's loads of goats in Fuerteventura. Come on, we'll head back the way we came. I tell you what, my legs are burning after doing them stairs. <laughs> They're like burning, proper. What do you do for work out there? www.travelon.world. Uh, we do trips, tours and excursions. What's your favourite Tenerife resort? Um, I don't know, just the south of Tenerife, basically. I like all of it, Las Cristianas, played the Las Americas. I love Tenerife, only because I go on holiday. Don't get me wrong, I don't think it's a better Canary Island than Lanzarote. I just think I go on holiday there. So for me, it's a, a nice little break. It's where I go to enjoy myself. Look at these, this is like crocheted stuff. Look, you can get a little, uh, little Star Wars thing. <laughs> Look at that. I bet that's your best seller, no? Is that is that the best seller? The one that everybody buys? The Baby Yoda? To vende mucho, the Baby Yoda. See? Master Todo. Que, que is the... The gatos. Oh, the, ca the cats are the best. And the avocados, they're cool. Wow. And you, you make these? Too. Wow. What's your name? Miriam. Miriam. You are live on, uh, live on TikTok? And on YouTube as well. Oh, okay. On, uh, this is the... I give you a sticker look, so you can you can check. That's the channel, Mr. Travelon. Thank you. Okay, lovely to meet you. <laughs> Bye. Um, should we head down that way? Or oh, there's Mas Masakino. Right, right there. There's a lovely little doggy look down here. Lovely little doggy. <laughs> Loads of dogs in Fuerteventura. Oh wow! Look at this. So this is a photographer look that does all his own uh, photography. Check that out. It's amazing. Voila. It's got some ones of Fuerteventura, look. Some diving ones. Ones of the beaches over there. Wow. So they're all printed off. And we'll head down here, look. That lady was there uh, crocheting something, giving me a right weird look. Don't know what's in there. Right, come on, let's get out of here and let's go on an adventure. You can have a massage here. You can even have a bloody massage. Massage at the market. Right, so this is getting heavy because I've got a big charger in my hand. So come on, let's go. It's a busy old one, isn't it? Look at this. It goes on everywhere. Everywhere you look, there's something new, look. Little place here, look, to have coffee and cake and something to eat. And then it goes even further through here. Happy ending. <laughs> you lot are terrible. You lot are terrible. Imagine being, imagine your job was a massager. 
and you're advertising. It must be it must be hellish. You know what I mean? It'd be like oh, advertising massages in Lanzarote, and all you get is people where uh, what's happening? Do you do <laughs> do you do extras? <laughs> you lot are terrible. You can you you. I've not got a dirty mind. I'm Mr. Travel on. I'm clean, sweet, and innocent. You all know that. Hola. Oh wow, what's this? Kites, wow, look at this. So this is all made from the kites that they use on surfboard, they're like kite surfing. So these are all old stuff and wow, that is so cool. And you've made all the all the things from the kites. Do you make them? What, uh, your name? Kaholo. Ka well, say hello, look, you're on YouTube. Ah. And TikTok, TikTok Live. Ah. Wow, so you recycle all the all the stuff look at that that is cool let me show this look at the craft market look there you go come and see that that is pretty cool i like that that's a good idea as different no muy different well look you'll be on youtube a little later on that's the, the name of the channel mr traveler okay gracias look at that that is so cool original that is so different isn't it Hola. that is so different it's got some art here look or is that a photo wow look at that that is one hell of a picture isn't it some more cork stuff look this is all made from cork hola so this is all cork wow cork for tiktok no tiktok oh no i was just seven Possible, oh, no problem, no problem, no problem. She doesn't want to show you anything. <laughs> she can cork off. Didn't even show her face in that. <laughs> Absolute idiot. What is wrong with people, honestly? I didn't even show her face. I was just showing the, the things. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, wow, look at these. These are like um, wooden, wooden sunglasses. All painted up and designed them are super cool. Wow. She told me to uh, clear off basically. She says, uh, no, 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 what are you doing? I said, I'm just showing people your cork bags. And she said, I don't want you to go away. Okay. Oh, we're back where we started. We'll go this way as not to walk past uh, that idiot again. <laughs> She must be dodgy, Dave. Well, she must be dodgy or stupid, one of the two. I'd say the latter, probably. I really would say the latter. Because it's people like that that are not actually dodgy. They're just very, very stupid. I didn't even show her. I wasn't even feeling her. Yes, I heard somebody say, Mr. Travel on. How are you? You all right? We were watching your videos before we came. Really? Yeah. I'm usually in Lanzarote, so I've... We've been to Lanzarote like Have you? Time, what do you prefer, Lanzarote or, or Fuerteventura? Very similar. Really? Do you yeah. think? I think it's a little bit more chilled out here, yeah. no? Our, our hotel's really quiet. What hotel are you in? Um, H10 Ocean. H10 Ocean? Oh, I love a bit of H10. Bit of posh. Is this more? What's your name? Daisy. Daisy, and what's your name, Mum? Joe. Joe. And where are you from? Leeds. Daisy and Joe from Leeds. Are you having a good holiday, yeah? We're having a lovely holiday. Have you bought any bargains? Not yet. Yeah. No? Not yet. We've had a wonder, we're going to have a beer and an ice cream. Well, you chill out. Look, here, Daisy, I'm going to give you a couple of stickers, look. Thank you know you. what I say, you can have my face on your case now, can't you? <laughs> I'm heading back to Lanza. Do you know what? I've come all the way over here to buy these trainers. <laughs> Literally, I've come over to pick these trainers up, that's it. So I've come over. Lovely any, to meet you. Any excuse? Any excuse, eh? See you later. <laughs> Fort Aventura, Del Boy. Yorkshire, Yorkshire. <laughs> Ruthie bigging up leads, look. Oh, are you all right? <laughs> oh, we've been this way, look. Right, come on, let's get out of the market and let's get back to some kind of reality. TTK Hazel is the discount code, TTK. That's the best discount code. What's this? Oh, that's like C, passion. So this is like uh, things that have been painted like the sea look. They're pretty cool, look. Wow. Beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. It's with paint or with... Uh... It's painted. Wow. It's all painted acrylic. 
Most of acrylic. acrylic. And what's your name? Ito. I'm on TikTok. Do you want to say hello? Hi. Ito, look. Come and see her. Look, she's lovely. Thank you. Thank you. This is beautiful. This is all the ocean. It looks, it looks gorgeous. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye. See, nice people. Nice people. Right. Come on. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, which way should we go? Do, 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 do. Let's go down. And if we head through this way, we'll pass, I think, a couple of hotels. And then that'll bring us back down <laughs> into uh, Coraleco High Street, I think. Come on. I cannot believe how many people we've had on live this morning. And we're still, considering we've changed phones. <laughs> We've changed phones, we've been on a ferry. We've done everything. You lot, Ruthie, I can't believe you're still on. I, I think Mark's still on. I don't expect you to be on, by the way. <laughs> the poor mods, I do honestly appreciate everything you do, moderating the channel and everything, but I honestly, if you've got things to do on a Sunday, this has been a little bit of a long one, hasn't it? We're usually done and done and dusted by now. I'm usually, I'm usually in bed and Nicola's on as well. I know Neil's, Neil's trapped off, hasn't he? <laughs> I honestly don't expect you to be on, seriously. But I do appreciate it. And you know you love it. <laughs> you have more fun than me, you lot, because I can't see the comments. Um, at least on this Samsung, I can see my battery power, 74%. I've got 32% on the old phone for YouTube as well. So, come on, we'll head down this back street here, see where it takes us. Come on an adventure with me. And they should bring us out back on Coraleco and we should get there quite quickly because of my new speedy trainers. 44 euros for a pair of sketches. You cannot grumble, can you? You cannot grumble. I'm just going to unplug that because it's driving me mad. Uh, dinner was prepared at 6.30, washing out, no problem. <laughs> Nicola, are you using your um, carving knife, Nicola, for a Sunday dinner? We had a bit of a debate on YouTube of carving knives. And Nicola says she's got a carving knife. Does anybody else have a carving knife? I thought they were things from the 80s. So you've got a little hotel here called Atlantic Gardens. And again, very popular thing to do here is boogies. Go on our website, www.travelon.world. You can do the June boogies of Fuerteventura. And unlike Lanzarote, Lanzarote do boogies, but Lanzarote boogies are not essentially June boogies. Although people do call them June boogies. Uh, there's no Junes in Lanzarote, so... Have you been to Seaside Hamios? Hamios, Seaside Hamios. Yeah, I've done a video on my YouTube on there. I think I've done two actually. Where's the Wally train? It's down here. And it's what? Well, I've got to get the ferry at 1.30, so I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do the Wally train. We'll see, we'll see what it's doing when I get down here. I'm not an <laughs> I'm from Fuerteventura, fantastic Abbey. Is it a nice place to live? I couldn't see myself living in Fuerteventura. I think it's too, too laid back for me. Mind you, in saying that, Lanzarote's proper laid back. <sighs> Thank you very much, Ruthie. Yeah, if you have stuck with me today, honestly, I do appreciate it, but if you could follow my uh, YouTube channel, I'll tell you why. Well, I do longer videos over there, and uh, you do make a couple of pennies on YouTube, TikTok, you don't make nothing. And I don't ask for gifts, although Debs, you are sending me a rose. Thank you very much, I do appreciate it. But I don't expect anybody to be sending me like the gifts and stuff like that. I can't stand these TikTokers that um, like beg for gifts and stuff. I think it's a terrible thing. I really do. So here, look, you've got some other places. <sighs> on a proper back street one here, haven't we? We've walked miles today, absolute miles. So here you've got some other place. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is, a hotel of some kind maybe. Or an apartment, it's definitely got a reception. I'm gonna go and have a little nose. I don't know what it is. Looks like, hola, it's a hotel. Ah, yeah, oh, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> Can I just have a look through the door? Yeah. Is that okay? So there you go, look. Hola. I don't know what it's called. It looks nice though. Look at that. Oh, Lossy and Domingo. <laughs> Steady threw me down the stairs then. 
TikTok pay a bit? No, don't know. No, they don't. Not if you're in land, uh, Spain. And if you're in uh, England. Gracias, amigo. ¿Qué es el nombre de hotel? ¿De nombre de hotel? Lanzarote Beach. Lanzarote Beach. Max Arata Beach, thank you. So it's called Max Arata Beach, that one. The sign's all uh, faded in the sun. Looks nice, though. Max Arata Beach, yeah. Um, TikTok only pay creators if you're in the UK. Um, and I think America. Spain? No. And unfortunately, my account is registered in Spain and I can't change it. So that's why. That is why. Ah. <sighs> I've been there at Maxarata Beach. Is it any good, Maddy? Is it any good? Right, let me see if I can turn the brightness up on this phone because I can't see a bloody thing. Maybe it's meant to be like that, I don't know. Seems a bit weird to me. I'm exhausted watching you. You should feel my legs, they are on fire. My legs are on fire, but my feet now are bouncing around. <laughs> it's good, is it good? I don't know, right, come on. I need to get this bloody camera plug back in now. Another place here called Alicia's Player. I definitely don't think I'm gonna be taking you back on the ferry with me. How many steps you've done? Do you know what, Rufy? I don't even know. I bet this phone would tell me, but I don't want to check in case I cut you all off. Oh. I thought this was going to be a quick walk. I can't see the end of this bloody street. I can see lots of accommodation, look. Come and get lost with me in Fuerteventura. This is what this is. Bloody hell. Does the sun shine in Lanzarote? <laughs> They're not clouds. For those of you that think it's clouds, it's not. It's sand in the sky. It's sand in the sky. It's called a Kalima. It's not clouds. It just looks like it. <sighs> Morning, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you're watching. Yeah. yeah, you're watching. Hello, where are you from? Germany. From Germany. Fantastic, fantastic. You got me on there on TikTok. You're watching on TikTok? There you, you're live on TikTok and you'll be on uh, YouTube as well. I'm recording on YouTube. You speak English? Yeah. Yeah? Well, uh, where are you, what is Fuerteventura like? Good? Yeah, Better than Germany? Yeah? Fantastic. <laughs> and your name? Yeah. What's your name? Simon. Simon. Simon, look, I'm going to give you this. Two stickers for your suitcase, okay? Yeah. Say hello to uh, TikTok. Hello. And you're on YouTube a little bit later on, about 6.30 tonight, you'll be on YouTube. Okay. See you later, thank you very much. <laughs> there you go, look. What we got over here, look? Oasis Royal, ah, now I know where we are. Don't wanna get killed. Now I know where we are, look. So if I walk up here, I can see the aqua park, look, up there. And then we'll walk back, up, back around, I think. And then that'll bring us back onto the front. Multilingual, Dave. <laughs> well, I, just, I, I can do it in Spanish. German, no idea. But if you just talk loud enough, then people understand you, don't they? <laughs> it's like when all the tourists come to Spain and you're in the taxis. How much for a taxi to the airport? <laughs> I think people think I'm the same though. I do it all the time. It's just like a... It's like a natural reaction, isn't it? If you don't know the language, just try and say it slowly and loud. <laughs> it never works anyway. <sighs> it's crazy, isn't it? It's just a natural reaction. It's just the way you do it, isn't it? If you don't know. <laughs> How often do you go to Lanzarote or do you live there? I live there. I live in Lanzarote. And I come over to Fuerteventura now and again. <sighs> One of the... Uh, so we're coming up at the side of the uh, Dunas. That's the one I told you about earlier. That's just there. That's a really popular hotel. It's only like a three star, so I think it's like a budget hotel, but still very nice. <laughs> I just need to say one thing to everybody. I am absolutely 
buggered. <laughs> My legs are killing me. This has been a proper mission, hasn't it? For a Sunday, I just need to get back and go to bed. This has to be the longest live I've ever done, I think. This is a record. And I had an idea. Now, I've said this before. I don't really want to do anything for charity. So it's 11.40. Jeez, I haven't got that much, I got that, that much time. I've got an hour and a half to get back. But I said before, I don't want to do anything for charity because I don't, I, I don't believe in asking people for money for charities, depending on the charity. Because I think charity, like, if you put a pound to charity, how much of it actually gets put to charity? This is my theory on it. I just don't agree with it. Um, I'd rather give food to a homeless person that I see on the street or give money to somebody on the street. Because at least I know my pound is getting spent, well, hopefully on something useful. But I think that a lot of charities, they don't, I don't know, they don't spend the money 100% on charity. And for me, if I give a pound, I want a pound to go to a good cause. I know there's costs involved. So anyway, I digress. I want to do something exciting, like maybe walk from Lanzarote to Tenerife. <laughs> so what it would involve is getting on the ferry, walking from Fuerteventura here, Coraleco, all the way down the south, then getting on a ferry and going over to Gran Canaria, or the other way, I don't know, one other way, or it would be Tenerife to Lanzarote maybe, because you go Tenerife up to the north, over to Gran Canaria, there, I'd have to work it out, and just basically walk the Canary Islands. Now I'd have to do it for some, I'd have to do it for charity, um, or something, but I don't know, I don't think I want to do it for charity. I might just do it for views, I might just do it, and I'm obviously not do it for money, I might just do it to get to a, get to 100,000 on YouTube, you know what I mean? At least then I can do some good with a massive channel. If I wanted to raise money for anything, I could just press a button and say, donate to this, you know what I mean? Yeah, the smaller ones, maybe, Mark, maybe. I am looking into it. Maybe I'll do a small local charity or something. Do it, look. The videos would do well. Yeah, they would. A lot of people would follow it, wouldn't they? Massive mission. So we're back on uh, Coraleco High Street now. <laughs> My legs are killing me. Very good idea. Temperature in the Canaries today, 29. Do it for the homeless in the Canaries? I could do. There's not that many homeless in the Canaries, if I'm honest with you. Um, but there is. There's a, there's a, there's a charity called Calor, Calor Cafe in Lanzarote, run by a nun. Um, that seems to be the biggest one. Um, but I don't know, I'd have to th it'd have to be something close to my heart and considering I don't like most things or most people <laughs> It'd be a tough one to choose. It'd be a tough one to choose. I don't know I'll have a think about it. Maybe If you've got any ideas drop me an email or a comment or something private message if you've got any ideas Do it for the cats. Well, I prefer cats than humans, but I think the cats get treated there uh, Treated better. <laughs> I think the cats get treated enough. Right, should we cross over and have a look at these shops? So there's a hotel through there called Lobos. Lobos Bahia, I think. I've, I've stopped there, it's really nice. Ideally located. And then right next to the big shopping centre here. Um, and then we'll have a look at that Skechers. There's 50% off in Skechers. If I see my trainers in there for more than four, for less than 44 euros, I'm going to kick off. I'm gonna go and see Rosa again and say, oi, you just had my pants down, Rosa. <laughs> no, fair play to them. I can't believe I've traveled all the way from Lanzarote to Fuerteventura to pick up a pair of trainers to save 20 quid. <laughs> the things I do. All right, come on. There's lots of people out now. Look, it's got a lot busier now, hasn't it? It's bank holiday in the week, uh, weekend in England, isn't it? I think that's why we've managed to keep quite a lot of people's attention. <laughs> Because it's a. Uh, let me see if I can put that in there. Just going to see if I can put this charger in here. And do that up a bit. One second, guys. 
be with you in one second. I'm just fiddling around here. There you go. That's better. That's better. I was carrying a massive charger around. My arms were killing me. I've put it in my bum bag now. How sad am I? So there's a big shopping centre. That's all fully open now. Great to come and have a little nose around there. Maybe not in the, in the heat, but if it's a cloudy day, I'm going to do a bit of shopping. There's the big Burger King opposite we've said on the way here. If you want a cheap meal, <laughs> you want a Mr. Travel on meal, if you've got kids and they say, can we have something to eat? Get them in Burger King, you know they're going to eat it and you know it's going to be cheap. The way forward. I know people don't say, oh, why are you coming to, land? Why are you coming to the Canaries and not eating that? Well, because I've got kids. Oh, look, these sketches are nice, look. Them are nice. Them are like the ones that I've just uh, took off. Them are really nice, but I ain't paying 100 euros. That's the thing. There's no way in the world I'm paying 100 euros for that. Let's have a little look over here. Lanzarote Shopping Centre is bigger. Yeah, we've got a big one in Lanzarote called uh, the Open Mall. So these are like 88, 77, reduced from 100, 64. Oh, I've got a bargain. I've got a bargain in mine. There's nothing under there's nothing under 70 in here. And there's no way I'd pay 140 for a pair of bloody sketches. This is what I mean. Sketches are great, but they're not worth that. I'm happy. 44. I've got a bargain, haven't I? It's worth travelling over to get them. <laughs> <laughs> to get them 44 euros you don't <laughs> well number one somebody said you probably didn't save it with the ferry number one mandy <laughs> number one i didn't pay for the ferry i'll get it free because i sell the ferry so that's one thing mandy and the only thing that's cost me money today is the trainers so i've, I've, I've essentially it's not cost me anything to get over here plus hopefully i've made more subscribers on youtube um, if you haven't already, head over Mandy and subscribe to my YouTube channel um, because I can make a few pennies on there. And when I upload this video, I reckon I might have made like 20 quid <laughs> back on the trainers. So essentially, I've saved myself a fortune. See, Mandy? See? There you go. <laughs> Mr. Travel on knows what he's doing. Sketches are, sketches are paying something. <laughs> What's the temperature now? It's around 29 still. Not quite hit the 30s, but it's bloody hot. You go, Mavs. Oh. So there you go. Yeah, 29, hot, hot, hot. So here we go, we walked, on, we walked up the other side, didn't we? So we walked down the other way. I don't think I'm gonna do the Wally train today. I think that needs to be a video on its own. I think I'm definitely gonna have to come over and just do the Wally train as a, as a video rather than on a live. Are there any shopping malls in Morahable? Um, Not really. Puerto del Rosario, the capital, is the nearest sort of big shopping centre. I'm here now. Well done, Olivia. In Fuerteventura or Lanzarote? How long is a ferry journey? It took... On the small ferry, which is the one we got, the foot passenger, it takes about 40 minutes. The big one, the car ferry, takes about 20 minutes. 20, well, I'd say 25, half an hour. So loads of places. Look, C car there, great car hire company. Hello. Hiya. <laughs> How are you? You're all right. Hey, you know what? What? The kids have just said about seeing you. Everyone really? He's come from Lanzarote. I've come from Lanzarote to, they just to buy trainers. Can you believe it? <laughs> just to save myself 20 quid on a pair of well, trainers. Why not? Why not? And I'm, I've doubled up. So what's your name? Why not? Layla. Did you watch me on TikTok? You bought some of them pegs to stop your towel blowing off. <laughs> Fantastic. Where'd you get them from? Daniel. How much? Not bad, eh? And we got that blown up for free. Well, there you go. Where are you guys from? Liverpool. Liverpool? Yeah. Are you having a good holiday? Fab, Where yeah. are you stopping? At Barcelo Sands, just around the oh, corner. Oh, very posh. Very posh. Very posh. <laughs> a bit of bar. So, well, look, no, let me give you these, look. A couple posh of stickers. And then we turn up. Well, don't you worry about that. Well, now you're going to be super posh because I say you can have my case on your, my face on your case. Oh, really? So now, what more could we ask when for? you wheel them trolleys out or your bags out, they're going to go, oh, look at them. They're posh. They've got Mr. Travel on on their case. <laughs> Say hello to everyone. Look, you're going to be on YouTube a little bit later on. Check YouTube about seven o'clock tonight. You should be on. And you. See you later. Lovely to meet you. Bye.
<laughs> Bless them. Liverpool massive, look. The Liverpool massive. Where are some good sites and places to visit on the island? Have a look on the website, www.travelon.world and you'll be able to see everything. Beautiful restaurants this side, look. You've got the Asian garden. Big uh, Asian restaurant. Is it a buffet? No, it's not a buffet. This is menu, that one. Very posh. It's like the one in Porta del Carmen. There is a couple of buffets, which I'm going to show you. Um, down under pub. Rent scooters. This one, uh, La Tasca, that's always a big one. Closed at the moment, but it's a massive steakhouse. And then there's a rock cafe here, look. So this is, uh, they're very much into their music over here in Fuerteventura. There's lots of like live rock bands. Like I said, it's a very sort of hippie, sort of rock, sort of music festival type island with all your surfer dudes and all that sort of stuff. And you've got a lovely plaza here, look. The plaza's pretty cool. In here, you've got quite a few different places. A Tasty Burger, a Taco, a Seven Pints, and a Panda Wok, which is a buffet look. And I'll take you through here. On the night time, it's all lit up with fairy lights. It looks absolutely, hola, everyone. Looks absolutely beautiful. <sighs> Turn left and go to my villa, <laughs> Freddy. That sounds dodgy. <laughs> there, there's the back end of the rock, rock cafe. Tasty burger, look. Closed at the moment, or just open the doors, look, they'll be getting ready for lunch. Seven points, that's an old classic here. Uh, do all the sports and that's quite a posh old pub. Done out quite nicely, very popular. Um, no way, look. I come down this back street of nowhere. The dog's attacking me, look. The dog, shut up, dog. We'll come over here. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? What are you doing sitting here? Enjoying yourself. Have you, are, you, are you stopping in Fort Mentor or you come over from Lanzarote? No, 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 we're staying here. We're yeah, staying we're, in Coraleco. Oh, in Coraleco, yeah, nice. Here, yeah. Is it yeah. nice here? Awesome. Yeah. Have you been to Lanzarote before? No, no? where are you from? Uh, Ireland. Which part? Dublin. Dublin. So I, I always say over in Lanzarote, especially in Porto.com, I call it I call it Little Dublin. That's why we come here. Is that why you come here? <laughs> <laughs> so you prefer to get away yeah, from exactly. it? Because Porto del Carmen is really popular for Irish, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I went to Dublin. Did you see my videos? Yeah. Yeah, I did a couple yeah. of videos. Yeah. Well, I came over today from, from Lanzarote just to buy some bloody trainers, believe it or not, because they were on offer. And uh, are you having a good holiday? You got Baby Yoda here as well. We do have and who Yoda. are you two lovely? Who, who's this Baby Yoda? What's your name? Kaylee. Kaylee and? Josh. Josh. And you're here in seven points. Well, look, I'm going to give you a couple of stickers, look. Thank you very much. My Thank face you. on your case. I only came down to have a look and we got to see somebody. Say hello to Dublin and say hello to everyone. You'll be on YouTube a little bit later on, all right? See you later. The dog's going to attack me, look. The crazy dog. <laughs> I'm only showing people this place. So look, up here as well, you've got Indian Spice and you've got a uh, Panda Garden as well. So this is a massive buffet, look. 1795, 8 95 for uh, kids 4 to 10. That's... Mm, and then free if you're four and under, but nice buffet. In fact, they actually messaged me and said, Could, would you like to come and have dinner there? So that might be a little freebie on the way. Right, we better get back. I won't disturb your dog. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> I'm going, he's live on TikTok. <laughs> See you later, mate. <laughs> you terrified the dog. He terrified me. <laughs> Don't like dogs or humans. <laughs> Say hello to Lenny. Who's Lenny? Hello, Lenny. <laughs> Ruth, Ruthie loves dogs. See what I mean, Ruth? R dogs just don't like me. I must give off that, that uh, scent. Miserable dog, miserable dog owners. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Mark. Right. It was like I'd inconvenienced his dog. You know what I mean? He was like looking at me as if to say, you've inconvenienced my dog. What, because I pay, I pay to walk around here. Your dog don't pay for the paving stones, mate. I'm literally just, <laughs> you've inconvenienced my dog. No, your dog clearly isn't trained enough. Give it a treat and tell it to shut its mouth. <laughs> 11.55, thank you very much. Say hello to Eileen and Zoe. Hello, Eileen and Zoe. How much is the ferry? Poco Loco, that's Poco Loco over there, look. Another uh, bur in the burger place, another uh, massive steakhouse over in Poco Loco. Small dogs always yap. 
the grumpy dog, grumpy owners. <laughs> Hello from Belfast, how are you? Have you seen my video on the Tato crisps? If you haven't, head over to my YouTube channel and uh, I've done a Tato crisp video. We've got to we got to branch out a bit. Hello, how are you? <laughs> We've got to branch out, look. We've got uh, Dom, uh, Dom Pepe is here. This does steak, ribs, pizzas, all sorts of stuff. And look, on the night time, it's all cooked here on the barbecue. It's proper cool. Dogs are brill when trained properly. Come on, Ruthie, you're never going to convince me. Told you I had a dog. <laughs> I had a dog for two weeks. I had to get it gone. Uh, we got a puppy for two weeks. It was possible. Would you know what we say on a daily basis when we see a dog? Thank God. Thank God we, we, we didn't do it. Because we, we thought it was a great idea. Get a dog, get a puppy. Kids were like, oh yeah, we'll look, we'll look after it. Honestly, two weeks. I know puppies are puppies and you have to train them and stuff. But I could just see the destruction of my house. Um, I could just see it. And I just thought, no, I can't deal with this. It was a lovely dog, but I thought it's going to chew things, it's going to bite things, uh, there's going to be hair all over the house. And I've got OCD, I couldn't cope. Mrs. Travelon was too, treating it like a human. <laughs> so in the end, and, and, I, and I couldn't breathe either. I couldn't breathe, I'm allergic to like dog hair. So every two minutes I was sneezing, I had bloody snot running down my face. It was licking my face and I was getting big, like a rash on my face and I was like, oh, do you know what? I love your dog, but have an owner that's gonna look after you because I can't deal with you. <laughs> Goodbye. Best decision I ever made. Because <laughs> uh, we'd been toying, we'd been toying the idea for, for months and months. Should we get a dog? 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 And then Mrs. Travelon saw a post on Facebook and was like, oh look, there's these um these puppies looking for a home and I said come on then we'll go and have a look and it, just, it was such a quick decision <sighs> we should have thought about it more even though we toyed on the idea for like two years um, but no dogs are definitely not for me they're a massive toy they are as well I think do you know what I'm gonna I, I, I know there's loads of dog owners on here but it was all the dog owners that were saying yeah go on get a dog you'll love it it'll be a companion for you and um, blah, 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 blah. And it was only one person who had about six dogs. <laughs> and she said, don't ever do it. She said, I regret most of the dogs that I've got. And she's a big dog lover. She said, they're such a burden. And she was the only one that was honest with me. But there you go. Dogs are not just for Christmas. <laughs> They're not, that was a big campaign, but that's the thing, that campaign, do you remember the campaign, dogs are not for Christmas? That's it, because you think, oh, wouldn't it be great getting a dog? And you know, even at Christmas, you say, oh, the kids want a dog, we'll get the dog for Christmas. And then, uh, and then you realize they're an absolute nightmare. <laughs> Roof's arguing with somebody. They're an absolute nightmare. Well, they're not a nightmare. If you've got the time, if you've got the time to train them and stuff like that, that's great. Um, but I haven't. <laughs> I haven't got the time. So I think I did the right thing. We had it for a week. It didn't get attached to anybody or anything. Um, and it was only a puppy and it's in a lovely family now and happy. I don't think it would have been happy with, with, uh, with me. I think I'd have despised it when I look at my sofa and it's got a bloody rip in it. <laughs> Where are you today? I'm in Coraleco moaning about dogs. God, we've had a bit of a ranty morning, haven't we? Mark doesn't want to pick up poo. Uh, my two kids are watching with me. Uh, believe it's their first flight to Lanzarote in September. Well, kids, enjoy your first flight. You'll love it. You'll love Lanzarote. You'll have a great time. Um, it's 12 o'clock. Well, I've got an hour and a half. I've got an hour and a bloody half now until, the, until I get that ferry back. What the hell am I going to do for an hour and a half? I can't stay here for, for an hour and a half. I suppose I could just answer loads of questions. Um, Aberdeen Steakhouse there, look, another steakhouse. And it brings us back through here, which we've seen, look at that, boutique hotel, look, that is Avanti. Av Avanti boutique hotel, that looks really nice in there, doesn't it? That looks really nice. And then this is like a back street. 
Again, gelato look, little gelato ice cream store. <sighs> Go have a coffee, Dave. Do you know what, Pat? I think what I'm gonna do is park my ass down by the harbour area um, and do exactly that. I don't drink coffee though. <laughs> I'm a weirdo, I only drink water. I used to drink water and Jack Daniels. That's why I don't, that's why I'm teetotal. But no, I don't drink hot drinks, tea or coffee. I'm a weirdo. I am a weirdo. Love a little place around here. Look, lots of tapas places. Look, this is Music Square where we came before. Right off the harbour, look. Happy hour, look. One litre of sangria, 8 95 And two euros, a big pint, look. Hola, buena. And there you go. Hola. This is uh, the Music Square, no? Yeah. Ah, there you go, look. So you got the... Uh, the music square here so this is the stage where everyone well the music will be on on the evening and then everyone shares the music i wonder if they uh, chip in for the uh, for the band go to the fish place right in front of the harbor i reckon that's where i'll go i could have probably jumped on that wally train you know if i timed it right so this is all open now look plenty more people on the beach Oh my God, somebody's chasing me down the backs. Hello. We've been trying to chase you down. We've been chasing you down. We've been trying to chase you I'm here. I've not gone anywhere. Where are you from? We're only from Reading in the UK. From Reading? And where are you stopping? Where have you run from? We've pretty much run from the top of the lift. No. Like all the way down. Who are you with? My family who want to come and say hi. Where are they? They're literally just coming. Come on. Come on. Let's go They're find them. There. Come on, look. They've all run down to say hello. <laughs> Uh, yes, Ruthie, I reckon that's the plan. <laughs> oh my God, was this one of the things? Hello? Have you honestly just run all the way down? I wasn't going anywhere. I wasn't going anywhere. My ferry's not till half one. You say hello to Heidi and Francis, they follow you all the time. You've just said hello to Heidi and Francis. Look, say hello. You're on YouTube. Look, I'm recording you for YouTube. Of course, I've got a bloody sticker. Would I, would I not give you a sticker after you've just run for miles? What are your names? Who are you? I'm Siobhan. Siobhan? Tina. Tina. Come in here. Look, what's your name? Rebecca. Do you not want to be on camera? No worries. You can stay there, Rebecca. No problem at all. Where, where are you from? Reading. From Reading? Yeah, we're staying in uh, La Capuliana. Oh, any good? Oh, yeah. Have you, stopped, have you stopped in Lanzarote before? Yeah. What do you prefer, Lanzarote or Fort Ventura? Oh. I definitely prefer it over here. Do you? Oh, why? Um, Is it... I like how much it's like more calm. More calm. And like less of the big islands of Capuliana. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. There you go. Well, look, I'll give you a sticker as well. Don't you worry. You can have my face on your case, look. Uh, Heidi. There you go, yeah, Heidi. She goes to Is she? 19th of September. Well, there you go. Well, Heidi, look, these lot have just legged it down the street to say, like, you're on YouTube here. Oh, It'll be later on. Do you want to get a quick picture before you go? Oh, yeah. Come on. Get in here. Oh. Come on. Oh, it's a bloody iPhone. She should have a Samsung. They're much better. Get in here, look. I'm a bit sweaty. I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so you have to run in all the way down there. Yeah. Lovely to meet you. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. Enjoy. Bye, my darling. Bye. <laughs> Bless them. That's fantastic. Legged it down from the top of Caraleco. Yeah, so we're going to go now and do a quick q and I reckon. A good old little Q&A. Look at the beach now. Like I said, this is the crap beach of Caraleco. Can you believe it? Look at it. <laughs> it's beautiful. This is, <laughs> when I say the crap beach, it's not crap. It's just not the best beach. And look at it. Gorgeous, it's the town beach. I mean, we, I went to Porta del Rosario before, which is the capital, and the beach there was just stunning. Absolutely stunning. So the Armas is coming in here. You've got the Fred Olsen Mini. I should have got, I should have gone back on the Fred Olsen Mini, but I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. Wouldn't give me money. Plus I'm free on the Linears from Aero. <laughs> More people living Brecky, look here. More people having brekkie, look, bit of music playing. Lovely. <laughs> there you go, look. Absolutely gorgeous. Lots of people out now, look, from them. Hello, you're right. From when we arrived. And you've got some sort of quite modern places as well, look. Look, you've got a lounge bar here. That's a bit posh, isn't it, look. That's very posh, look. So I find that the Canary Islands, 
you get a bit of everything. You get like your lounge bars and stuff like that. And then you get your more sort of traditional places like this where you just grab a beer, look. A bit more sort of uh, painted white. And here we are. How much is a ferry across? It's of 35 euros. 35 euros the ferry was. And I think what we're gonna do, we'll go, like you said, we'll go and grab a seat in that uh, restaurant right by the harbour area. We'll have a good old natter and I'll answer loads of questions. Because <laughs> God, for God forbid, I don't even know how long I have been on live today. Well, nine o'clock, nine, 10, 11, gee, nearly three hour live. Imagine this video on YouTube. Everything you've seen today is going on YouTube, by the way. So everything's been recorded. Is that return day? Yes, it is. Three hours, bloody hell, Martin. You've been here since for three hours. <laughs> is it raining in England or something? I honestly, thank you so much to the moderators. I've, I don't expect you to be on any time I come on live. I don't expect anything. Thank you very much, Ruthie. So yeah, head over to my YouTube channel, Mr. Travel On, and make sure to subscribe to that if you could. That would be really, really helpful. And uh, we are going to go this way plunk ourselves in one of the little cafes over here right by the harbour and uh, well, have a little chat I'll get myself a nice little cold bottle of water eh? it's not out of a tube Hola. <laughs> loads of dog walkers look oh this would this be a nice little view but a bit busy that one there used to be a little cafe right in the harbour I don't know if it's still there I'm going to Santa Posa, Mallorca on the 4th of October for a week solo. Yeah, wow, fantastic. Fantastic. A lot of people go solo holiday in these days, don't they? Seems to be the way, the way to go. I do, I've, I've said this about solo traveling before. I think if you can do it, do it, you know, if you're happy with your own company. But what I disagree with on solo holidays sometimes, um, and I find it not sad, but it seems to be a thing with the youth of today that they prefer going on holiday on their own. And I think that's, I think that's great and brave and stuff like that. But I also think it's a little sad that back in, that, back in our day, you always had a group of you to go on holiday with. And what does it say about society? That you'd rather go on your own than go with people. I think the world has just distanced. It's, it's just switched. People have switched themselves off, you know, because of social media phones and stuff like that it's like that human contact the young the youth of today it, well you get the youth youth of today that enjoy their own company rather than other people's i think that's a little sad obviously the older generation that go on holidays well <laughs> we've had years of uh, enduring people and think well you know what i'd rather go on my own and then you've got people that have obviously lost their loved ones and uh, go on holiday on their own so I, whilst i think it's a great thing to do. I also think sometimes it's, it's sort of advertised as the cool thing to do when really I think, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what your thoughts are on the old, the old solo traveling. We always went around in packs, we did. God, if we went on holiday, it was always a big group of you. But again, it's a lot different these days. It's not all about getting pissed, is it? <laughs> the only thing we wanted to do on holiday was get off our heads. <laughs> but the, it's a lot different now. Right, I was going to sit here. I don't know whether there's a little cafe in the harbour anymore, because that might be a little bit more of a chilled place. Let me just put my glasses on so I can have a look. There must be a little cafe up there. If not, I can walk back, can't I? There must be a little cafe in the harbour. I just think, it'd be a bit, I think it's a bit busy there with the music on. I've solo travelled a lot to Lanzarote, I love it. It's so safe, it is safe Debbie, it definitely. Canary Islands are definitely the safe place to solo travel, 100%. <sighs> Lots of people here, look. Right, come on, there's got to be a place here to get, grab a little drink or something and sit down. Or we'll head this way. Yeah, 
Just around the corner, Juno's Club. Uh, where are you? I'm in Coraleco Harbour at the moment, Fuerteventura. I'm going to be heading back over to Lanzarote. Turn around the cafe, all the cafes behind. Are they? Are you sure there's not one in the harbour anymore? Am I going to be pissed off by walking all this way? To find there's no, no little cafe. There used to be a little cafe in the harbour. Has it gone? Surely not. Surely not. <laughs> Sarah says it's gone. Oh, see, look, the Ave lad said no. So, yeah, people are, gonna, people are going missing and you say it's safe. People go missing and you say it's safe. People go missing all over the world, you plunker. For God's sake. One person has gone missing. <laughs> what a clown. People go missing and you say it's safe. People go missing everywhere. Muppet. Right, look, these are waiting for the ferry over to Lobos. Lobos is a busy old place. All right, let's sneak through here, look. Let's get through here. There's got to be a little cafe here. If it's closed down, I'm going to be right annoyed. And I should have listened to Sarah, shouldn't I? But there used to be a little cafe. Let's have a look. So these are the offices where you come if you're getting the ferry from Lanzarote, look. You've got the Linius Romero one. That's the one we work with. That's the only one we recommend. Uh, Canarian Company. Uh, they used to be, well, they started their, their life in Graciosa, real proper Canarian island. And then they bought the ferries over here. Um, and then you've got Armas and Fred Olsen, which is more the car ferries. But if you're not taking a car, get your ticket on our website, travelon.world, and then come here, look, to the nice office. And the guys in there will sort you out with your boarding pass and all that sort of stuff. And I think this, well, this is the bus station. If you want to get the local bus anywhere, you can come here. And you know what? I should have listened to Sarah because this was the cafe, look. <laughs> this was the cafe. I wanted to grab a seat in. Oh, Sarah, I should have listened to you. For God's sake. Look, it's closed down. Why on earth would that be closed down? People want to just sit here and get there, have a little drink. It was always busy. Oh, for God's sake. Should have listened to you. Ave lad, aviator lad, I shouldn't have listened to you, should I? <laughs> hey, we got WN. <laughs> Don't know who that is. <laughs> right, looks like we are going that way. Well, uh, the thing is, I can't not get a drink because I'm dying here. And my little straw thing <coughs> has gone. I know where we'll go. I know where we're going to go. We're going to go this way. Come on. Let's go this way. It is roasting now. It is roasting. Hola, buena to be here. Opie transfer. Look, so they, they, they pick you up and take you on the air. Uh, on the uh, ferry look so that's one of the ferries that goes over to foot uh, to low bus look i'll have to come and do a video on that lovely little company that all red the red company they do loads they do everything in coletta de fusti they do everything how long's the journey on ferry to fort ventura it's about 35 40 minutes on the ferry that we go on the lineus romero uh, if you take the car over on one of the big ferries I think the fastest is Fred Olsen. Hey, how are you, mate? We got you here. You got me here. Nice yeah, to meet you. Where are you off to? We got it. We got it. Was it him? Where are you going? Uh, we're going to Lob Lobos. Lobos. Where are you from? Oxford. Oxford. Wow, fantastic. From Oxford yeah. to Lobos. You're going over on this little red ferry. Hello, boys. How are you? Come and say hello. Look, you're, you're live on TikTok and you've been recorded for YouTube as well. So you're yeah. going to be on YouTube a little bit later on too. Where, where, you all from Oxford, yeah? Yeah. But what's it like here? In, it's beautiful. very hot, yeah. Beautiful, yeah. It's a bit chilled, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Well, I'm, I usually, I'm in Lanzarote, but I've come over for the day. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I, I usually do videos over there, but uh, yeah. have you ever been over there? Yeah, when I was young, about yeah. 18. Yeah. But uh, is this the first time in Fort Ventura? Yeah, yeah. What do you think? 
I love it, yeah. It's chilled, isn't it? Yeah, it's, nice. it's proper chill. Well, look, you're going to enjoy yourself in Lost Lobos. It's yeah. going to be art. Oh, have a couple of stickers, look. Oh, cheers, I cheers. always say, if it, people that say hello to me, I say, you can have my face on your case. You've got to put that, <laughs> put that on your suitcase and people will see you through the airport and they'll be like, oh, look. <laughs> nice. they, they met Mr. Travel on. I'll see you later. Have a good day in Lobos. See you later. Hola. <laughs> There you go, look. See how clever TikTok is. See how cl clever TikTok, TikTok, TikTok is. They found me on TikTok because I walked past them. Well, clever or dangerous, one of the two. <laughs> clever or dangerous. So we're not going to go to that one there, that beautiful restaurant there, because I think it's a bit loud and I want a bit of peace. So we are going to go over here and I'll do a bit of questions and answers because sometimes I can't see. Mark's got my face on your car. <laughs> I can't think of anything that rhymes with car, Mark. <laughs> so we'll have to think of something for car stickers, won't we? Uh, we'll have a look in the Luna restaurant. And that's right below a hotel that I've stayed in and I've done a review on. Um, I'll tell you what, just... I just realized that my feet feel really cool in these trainers. <laughs> I know I've said it before, but they're super comfy. I'm glad I bought them and they're grippy as well. I could run up a mountain in these. My other ones, well, I've done that much walking in them. Right, so we're gonna head just here. Look, there's a little restaurant on there and it's right underneath a Dunas, I think it's called Dunas, Dunas something. There's Lanzarote over there. Look, you can see Lanzarote. There's Los Lobos, there's the waves, look in the rocks, there's a few people sort of uh, that prefer sort of uh, rocky beaches and sandy beaches. Hello, you all right? And we're heading this way, look. We're going to go this way. A few people on the beach down there, look, in the sea, having a little... <laughs> Some people got their little chairs out, look. She's got her brolly. Professional beaches, them professional sunbathers and you can walk all the way along this coastline as well it's really really nice this is like the back streets it doesn't look much does it but when you come around here it's actually quite nice oh god this has been a monster walk hasn't it <laughs> what shall i title it on youtube i walk from playa blanca to fuerteventura <laughs> Right, this is more my style look, and it's got toilets in here. So I'm gonna sit in I'm gonna sit down here. Peace and quiet look, right, right there, I reckon. Well, I'll sit here, look, get some nice views. Um, yeah, I reckon so. I reckon so, and then uh, I'll answer your questions, but I might sit inside. Let me go and have a look inside. Let's have a little nose. Or I could sit there, couldn't I? Hola. Let's have a look inside, look. Oh, it's very posh inside. Very nice in here. Oh, lo siento. Hola. There's some, hola. I need a, un agua. <laughs> oh, I sit this side. Perfect. I sit this side. There you go, look, this is more, more chilled. I can sit here, look, in the corner, out the way. There we go, and I'll answer all your questions, and I can go for a, I can go for a wee. So, let me just do one thing. Let me do one thing. Right, YouTubers, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to be on TikTok answering questions until the ferry arrives. Um, thank you so much for joining me. If you've been on YouTube, that was a big old walk, wasn't it? Um, I'll see you in the next one next Sunday. I'm absolutely exhausted. <laughs>